Alrighty, hello everyone. It is Mario time. Yeah, boy. In the skies above Peach's castle. Oh my god, it's Bowser! And Mario, they're fighting on a freaking ship! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Oh man, it's been a bit since I've played this. An epic start to this game, by the way. It just immediately starts out with Mario and Bowser just duking it out. Like, my goodness. No! His... his freaking famous glorious hat! <laughs> Bowser's like, yeah, I got a hat now too, buddy. Oh no, his hat! How dare you. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got the freaking epic hair. Man. First time I played this and I saw that, I was like, What? Mario's hat got ripped. Hey, it's Cappy. No cap. Nice. Immediately start freaking long jumping like crazy. <laughs> Oh man, I, I love this world. It makes me think of like Tim Burton slash uh, Kingdom Hearts slash Disney. It's super cool. What's up there, Cappy? You know what, Cappy? Bowser messed up your life. Bowser messed up my life. How about you restore my hat and you come along with me on this epic journey to defeat Bowser? Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is such an interesting dynamic. It still is epic to this day. So freaking cool. Cappy is now your companion. Heck yeah. See his little eyes? <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Alright, let's throw the boy. Ugh. Nice. Let's get some coinage. Just get a little cheeky hidden coinage right here. Yes, I know I can throw Cappy. I've been doing that. I can also break boxes and stuff with it. Get that bridge up. Alright, cool. Let's jump across this bridge and roll. Yeah, dude. Ooh, golden Goombas. Don't they give me money if I kill them? Oh, God. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah, let me ah, oh. let me get these flowers. Oh, it's just a heart. Okay, I thought it was a health increase, but it was not. I think that's actually in here. Oh yeah, I thought it was cool that you could just like hold the, or I thought you could. Okay, yeah, you can just hold the Y button and he just like continues staying there. Super cool. Your boy Mario turns into a frog. <laughs> this is so like cool, but also kind of creepy in a way. Just like, what the heck? Yo, what's up, gamer me? Playing some Mario. <laughs> that image of the frog is so funny. That coin is frozen in time. All the coins are frozen in time. Oh my god, he's hideous. <laughs> I like that he keeps the mustache. You shake that control and you can jump higher than just the regular B button jump. Oh, coinage. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to get hit, but I don't actually know if you can get hit by the Goombas as a frog, because you just, like, automatically, like, jump off of them. There we go. Nice. How do I leave? There we go. Get out that frog! <laughs> there we go. Here's the health increase. Yeah, now I have six health. Oh my god. Here we go. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Just a checkpoint out in the world. I wonder if they're ever going to make a Mario game that's open world. I hope they do. I think it would actually be really great. Oh my god, it's the freaking, uh, what are they called? The Bunny Gang. Oh, the Brutals, that's what they're called. <laughs> This guy's crazy. Just whack him three times, knock his hats off, and then boom. 
He's like, I'll have two extra hats for protection. I'm like, buddy, have you seen Cappy and what he can do? He is a monster on the battlefield. Don't question Cappy. Oh god. There we go. It's not a three cycle. In this one, it's a two cycle. <laughs> I hope they make a open world game. That would be so cool. An open world Mario game. And then you can have like... You just get like the little flags like usual. But those are like uh, fast travel. Like how they are in this game. That would be super cool. I love this part. You can even turn into a ball of electricity. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, I always love the opening of this game. This game is super good. It's one of my favorites for sure. I don't know if it's like my favorite like 3D Mario game. It's either this or Mario Galaxy 1 probably. Cascade Kingdom Fossil Falls. <laughs> now I always pictured him being in like excruciating pain, but I wonder if he's just like kind of excited, just like what the frick I'm going so fast. I <laughs> love the bounciness of his face. Our first power moon. Good old chompy chompy chain chain chompy boy over there. Yeah, that was a ride, Cappy. Waterfall Basin. Heck yeah. Alright. Can I get the epic skip right here? Even though I don't really need it? Aw, oh, dang it. Okay. So, I was hoping I can get that skip, which isn't really a skip, but yeah. Also, this is like one of the, like, the best looking Switch games. It might be the best looking Switch game. I'm not entirely sure, but like... It looks really good for a Switch game. Alright, let's get our first uh, Power Moon. Boom! That was so cool. I love the, like, different dynamic moves that each, like, capture has. Heck yeah, dude. Got the classic Mario jump whenever you get a Star Moon thingy. <laughs> Double Rainbow! Multi moon atop the falls. Oh my god, it's big brutal. Kind of more coinage. Like purple coinage, or is it just like, oh hey, heck yeah. I want to get the coinage for um, a new outfit. Which I actually don't know if I can get one in this island. And, like right now, I think you have to come back later for that. I've always loved it whenever they put the water on the screen whenever you're near uh, water. <laughs> they did that in uh, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and I thought that was like the coolest thing as a kid. I was like, whoa, it's like it's getting on my face. That's like MySpace and Facebook combined, my face. <laughs> Not enough power. We need more power moons. Oh my god, there's another ship here that was crashed. Alright, where's the boy? Where's the boy? He up here. Yeah, dude, best character in the game right here. T-Rex boy. I remember uh, I was telling Tire Skeleton about this because this was in the trailer and he was like, I don't think that, I think that was just like promotional stuff. They're probably not actually going to put it in the game. But lo and behold, <laughs> they put a freaking T-Rex in a Mario game, dude. Like a legit, like actual uh, T-Rex. Super cool. Oh, the freaking rub rumble, dude. Freaking rumble, dude. Uh, how do I attack? Oh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, some coins. All right, buddy. I'll actually hold on. I want to. <laughs> I want to do something real quick. <laughs> go take a nap. <laughs> he just disappears and then just reappears up there. 
I always love just sending him to his utter doom. Oh yeah, chomp through the rocks. That's what I do. I forget it shows the date down there of when you get the moons. Screw that, I don't need that. Mario has freaking uh, long jump abilities. Coins, oh god, this is gonna disappear. Ah, there we go. Roar! <laughs> Hear me roar. Heck yeah, hearts. Or a heart. Uh, oh, there we go. I was like, I thought I saw some extra coins. And they are here. Do I? No, okay. I was like, uh, do I need the freaking uh, chain chomp? But I don't. Oh, there's a checkpoint over there? How do I get that? Do I just, uh... Aw, oh, crap. I completely messed that up. Ooh. He moves really quick in this game, and he's kind of floaty. There we go. Heck yeah. Track point. Top of the big stump. Oh, coinage. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, buddy. There's 50 of these purple coins in each world, I believe. Oh man, I should watch a speedrun of this game. I don't know if I've ever done that. I recently watched a speedrun of Metroid Fusion on good old GDQ, and it was a good speedrun. It was like, like the speedrun was good, but also like the comedy was really good. I forget who did the speedrun. It was like something monkey or something like that. Um, but yeah, really cool dude. He did a really great speedrun. Oh yeah, I've always loved this part. But wait. Oh my god, it's it's Cat Peach all pixelated like classic Mario. Give me a heart. I just got hit. Bam. Thank you. What would you say is your favorite like 3D Mario game and your favorite like world in this or kingdom I should say in this game? Good old gamer meat. I probably should have mentioned this early on, but I'm not going to be 100%ing this. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get all the purple coins or anything like that. I'm just going through the game, just casually. Because it's been a bit since I've went through this game. Kill the Goomba. I freaking love this. I don't remember if this was shown in like any of the trailers, but like when I got here, I was like, oh my god. It's like a... Nice homage to, like, classic Mario. Oh, yeah. If you time that right, you can kill that Goomba on when he's on the way to you. Oh, I'm not even going to try to get that. Ooh, but I'll get this, though. Come on, dude. And it just looks so good um, with, like, the 2D Mario on, like, the 3D Mario background behind the waterfall. It actually looks... It works very well. I wish I could ground pound, but I uh, couldn't do that in the OG Mario. Oh my god. We're getting close to... What's her name? I forget her name. Kind of makes me think of uh, Israel Mania's old uh, doggo uh, boo-boo. <laughs> uh, let's see. I like the... Oh, like New Donk City? Yeah, that's like everybody's favorite. Uh, I don't really know what my favorite world is. What's your name? Oh, yeah, the freaking gold chain chomp with the freaking pink hat. Super funny. It's like those people who like trying to make their dogs look like them. It's like, what? Why, why do you have matching hats for? <laughs> Dogs don't need clothing. They already have clothing. The only thing your dog should wear is antlers because they look like deer. <laughs> yeah, this is a really cool boss fight. It's interesting that you have to, like, use your capture ability to capture the chain chop to then hit her. 
Ow. I just have to use your regular attack to get the hat off of it. <laughs> as you get like more pink as the fight goes on. Oh yeah. <laughs> she just got a little mark on her face because the chain shop hitting her in the face. Oh yeah, first multi moon I think it's called. Also known as a banana bunch. <laughs> oh, there was a uh, oh multi moon atop the falls. There was a uh, health increase right there. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't bring it up to like nine. Yeah, it, it won't bring it up to nine because it's just capped at like six. Oh yeah, we finally have enough uh, voltage to activate the ship. <laughs> like he just like sits on top of the world globe and just like, you ready, Mario? Oh yeah. I need a good old recharge too. Oh yeah. Sody pop. Uh, the Odyssey is restored. I forgot it was called the Odyssey. Sand Kingdom. Tostarina? 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 I don't know. Got the old captain's hat. Atop the highest tower. Yeah, we're in a freaking desert that is cold and has ice on it during the daytime. <laughs> That's how you know some stuff is going down. I really love, like, the red sand. It looks really good. Uh, ooh, yes. Don't mind if I do. Haha. -ha. Alright, let's go this way. Yeah, we got a, a bit more power moons to collect in this world. Oh, I like this place too. Yeah, this place is really cool. A nice, like, uh, well, I guess this, is, this isn't like a beginner world. I guess that's Cascade Kingdom, but this world is really good. I do like it. Uh, where's the, um... I can, like, get under something. I thought I was on this side. Is it frozen over? Ah, here it, here we go. Yeah. A little crouch and go under here. <laughs> if we can go behind the shop and just steal their freaking power moon. <laughs> Employees only. Well, I'm the new employee. Buy some hats. Get your hats. Get a freaking football helmet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like those skull things. I can't remember, like, what those are and, like, the, um... Whatever the aesthetic is called or something, but I really like those. They're really cool. I know there's like Bowser posters everywhere promoting the freaking wedding. Like, Bowser, do you think you're gonna get married to Peach? Because I don't think so. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Got the classic Mario song back there. Hey, look, there's a little uh, hint to the boss that we'll have to do later. Alright. Playing some slots, and you gotta time it right. Okay, I don't need coins or hearts or a heart uh, increase, because I got six of them, so... Yeah, there we go. Woohoo! Sand Kingdom slots! <laughs> oh yeah, the little, uh... Is it called a Jinxie? I can't remember. Little taxi thing later on. Oh god! No, he's frozen! Oh my god, Bowser's footprints. He's been here. Oh god! Okay, I thought I was gonna get hit by him. Ooh! Got some coinage? Yeah, dude. Oh, that has a lot of coins. Holy crap. And there's a pretty good amount of freaking golden goom Goombas here, too. But I'm just going to skip past you while I go up this way. Oh, there's coins over here. Ah, get rid of that cactus. Or a cacti. 
All right, Bullet Bill. I have become Bullet Bill. Super cool. I love this transformation. Let's get this power moon. On the leaning pillar. The leaning pillar of pizza? No. <laughs> oh god, he's coming for me. I don't know why I keep on naming the moons that I'm getting. Oh no, I'm all dirty. Don't worry, I'll just quickly clean myself. <laughs> don't you wish that you could just like ground pound and just like automatically cleans you? Just good old one butt pound and then you're good. Oh yeah, this is cool too. You gotta get on the sand that is rising quickly before it goes down. Oh, we did a triple jump. Oh, epic save. Epic save. Oh my god, there's coins right there. But I can't get them. I have to go in this 8-bit pipe. Good old 8-bit Mario. Ow. Oh, I have to... <laughs> I've been playing Metroid, so I was like... I thought I had to, like, press it down twice to go into the morph ball. But no, it's Mario, so you just hold it down. Oh, it's up here where there's a heart. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, that's fine. Oh, yeah, there's a power moon here. Boom! Oh, yeah, but they send it all the way over there. Instead of just immediately giving it to me. All right, buddy, let's go. Oh god! <laughs> Isn't that spin like new? Wasn't that a new thing that Mario could do and everybody was freaking out about it? I can't remember though. Oh, you get healed whenever you get a moon. I forgot about that. Uh, so I saw a switch down here. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah, nice little shortcut. Heck yeah. Oh, hello Goombas. Oh, I'm trying to hit the freaking question mark block. There we go. Oh, one coin. BRB, you gotta get food? Heck yeah, dude. Food's delicious. Oh, God! Man, I've been wanting... I always want freaking vegetable soup. <laughs> I crave vegetable soup. You'd figure that I'd get, like, tired of it, but, like... It's so freaking good. And for people who don't know what vegetable soup is, or vegetable beef soup, it's literally just, like, canned vegetables with uh, ground beef and uh, tomato juice. Very easy to make. You gotta put a crap ton of salt in it too. Uh, I also like to like dice onions. You can get like mix mixed vegetables that have like the baby onions in it, but like I still like to dice like a regular size onion. The flavor is more potent as well than just the tiny onions. Like the flavor is stronger. Oh, what's down here? <gasps> secret! Secret tunnel! Gotta get those secret coinage. Huh. I keep on saying coinage because of Israel and Mario Kart 8. Oh, that was epic speedrun, dude. Oh, yeah. 8 bit moon. Oh, God! Aw, oh, I fell down. I hate it when I do that because then I have to go all the way back. I can never do it like consistently. Hey, there we go. You can just duck under the bullet bill. Checkpoint. And another power moon. Heck yeah, now we can get to other parts of the kingdom. Unlock some platforms. Moon shards in the sand. Oh yeah, those guys. The freaking, like, vacation glasses. Oh yeah, I really like these things. You just like throw your hat and it like carries it along. Super cool. Oh yeah, you got these things that is that is in a lot of Mario games with the rings and stuff. Yeah, super cool. Oh yeah, if the if the rings hit another one of those, like then you know the other one will do it as well, and you can. Oh god, you can get them kind of in a loop. Oh, I missed it. Dang. <laughs> First like death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't have six hearts anymore. Oh, well. Yeah, you don't get one-ups in this one. The coins counts as life, so you can get coins very quickly 
very easily, so it's like you don't really have to worry about getting a game over. I don't know if I've ever gotten a game over in this game. And if I did, it was because I wanted to see what the game over screen looked like. <laughs> Alright, I need to get these coins. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now I can go down here. Oh, nice. I got that coin on the way down. That was nice. Yeah, see? Then it hits that one. Then that one goes and it hits that one again. I'm gonna die. Why am I sucking for it? I'm great at Mario. Oh god, here we go. Alright. Jump down. Woohoo! What's up, guy? Oh yeah, when you capture these guys, it sounds like they say shades. Yeah. <laughs> And they reveal secret passages. Don't you wish that you had freaking glasses that just revealed invisible stuff? Woohoo! Alright, uh, this poison looks really cool. Uh, it's very purple. Oh my god, Bowser's footsteps. He was here as well. Oh, <laughs> that was an epic uh, save. Alright, there's something like... Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Gotta get these uh, Power Moon coins, which reveal a Power Moon, I believe. Oh, can I do this in time? Yeah. I love that. Little interactions that you can do in this game. World interaction. That just makes the game feel more uh, full. Being able to do, like, environment environmental stuff. Come on, platform. Yeah. So I think you can actually bring this guy up here so you can see the path, but like... I've played this a lot, so I know the path. <laughs> it's not hard to find either. Heck yeah. Uh, I need one more. I don't remember where it's at. Wait, I thought I... I thought I got that. Oh, no, it was on the other side. That's right. Alright, now I'm going to be a douchebag and just, uh... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I ground pounded into the poison. Dang. That'd be funny. I was like, you have to redo all of the freaking coins again. But now we're good. Alright. Now we can get this one and unlock more platforms to continue on in this kingdom. Ooh. A door opens. Showdown on the inverted pyramid. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? A freaking inverted pyramid? Oh, heck yeah. Thought I was going to miss the timing and just fall to my death. Oh yeah, these things, you can actually like use this to like look at where you need to go and stuff. Just like look around the kingdom and, and stuff. It's really cool. Oh, I can zoom in. Dang, they're still loading stuff from very far away. That's crazy. Oh yeah, you can see like other pyramids that are just floating up and you're like, how do you get up there? Spoiler alert, you get there from other kingdoms. I think these are in, like, Mario 3D World and stuff, and I, like, brought them back. Which is actually a really cool, uh, thing. So that you can actually just, like, you know, look around the place that you're in. Uh, oh yeah, let's go through here. Oh yeah, this is where, like, everybody dies like crazy whenever they play this game. Good old Bullet Bill minigame. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I like that they have like a light. <laughs> like a car light. Headlights, that's the word. But yeah, you have to be careful because it's kind of like floaty with the movement. So like you can easily mess up and just like hit a wall and just like explode the bullet bill. Oh, oh yeah, I got the timing right. Oh, I'm going fast. Okay, there we go. It's slowed down. It's slowed down. 
Man, the water looks really good for a Switch game. <laughs> or the poison, I guess. The water in Breath of the Wild looks good, too. Yeah, so those are kind of like, honestly, like mini game sections. Not really a mini game, but like, you do different like stuff specifically for that little section of the kingdom. Oh my god, a lizard! If this was Breath of the Wild, I could uh, capture it and use it to upgrade my armor, which would uh, give it more defense. And I think more fire defense? I can't remember. Probably not with that, but yeah. Yeah, that made sense. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, a sheep with a sombrero. What's up there, buddy? <laughs> Just whack a sheep. Oh, can I knock it down there? <laughs> Bye, sheep. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll, I'll leave y'all alone. Or not. Oh yeah, this guy. <laughs> freaking New Yorker looking guy and his car is freaking <laughs> frozen. Yep, actual people in a freaking Mario game. <laughs> it's like, what the heck? But Mario's human. But that's like a legit human. What the heck is going on? Oh, yeah, the Sphinx. He likes to give you riddles. Greetings, traveler. Hello there. Uh, what does the thieving Bowser monster desire from this uh, land? Uh, the ring. <laughs> Maracas. Gotta get a band, you know? Ooh, treasure! <gasps> a moon! Oh yeah, and I'm just gonna steal all your money. Thank you kindly. Yeah, buddy. Seven twenty. That's a resolution. It's lesser quality than 1080p. Oh, that lizard just died. It freaking despawned itself. It went into the game's code and was just like, turn off lizard. All right. Inside the inverted pyramid. Get over here, boy. Woohoo! Man, those coins are going crazy. Oh yeah, this makes me think of uh, Mario Galaxy. Cause it's like, Hey, I'm on the regular platform, you know, because regular gravity, and then whoop! <laughs> and the, uh, the, God, the arrows indicate, like, to go up and to go down. Super cool. Alright, whoop! And then, duck. Oh yeah, you can actually get a, uh... Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought you could get a secret power moon there. <laughs> Maybe it's in a different spot? That just straight up kills you if you do it that way. <laughs> Jump. Jump. And then slide. And then jump. Let's stay in the middle here. Heck yeah. Got all of the coins. Is there a secret over here? Oh, it's probably later on. Goomba. 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 Whoop. Oh, I always get hit by that Goomba. Oh god. Don't want him to fall on me. Ah, here we go. There we go. Power Moon equals health. Hey man, I love this game. Yeah, this is super good. I've played this game a lot. Oh yeah, I thought that you like had to break that the first time I played, but you can actually just like go around here. Like, did Nintendo think of that or not? <laughs> oh yeah, you can do like a little mini game puzzle thingy there, but um. I always mess it up, so I'm just going to skip it. Ah, uh, nice convenient heart. Oh, is there a checkpoint up here? No, but there's a power moon. <laughs> on, the, on the freaking tail. Man, those clouds look really good for a Switch game. Ooh, I'm so excited for the new, uh, the new Nintendo system. I'm curious what the graphic is going to look like. Oh, more secret coins. Dang, I've almost got... Oh, this one has 100. Okay. I thought it was just like 50 in each world, but there's more. Yes, I'm looking for the binding band. Oh, yeah, you can't just like hit her hat off. You gotta wait for her to do this. And... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you can hit her with that, right? Maybe not. Oh, no, you have to wait for her to do that. 
the big spiky bomb, and then, bah! and then it whacks her, and then you can freaking jump on her head. And uh, I didn't know this the first time I played, but like, if you go to where she goes and then immediately hit that, it'll hit her if you're quick enough. And then you can just like one cycle her. But sometimes I mess it up. Yeah. Boom. Oh, that hurts. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, she's a three cycle. Oh, no. Okay, where are you going? There we go. Oh, uh, wait. Can't you actually get a heart from destroying one of these? Yes, I thought you could. I wonder if you can actually hit her with those. Maybe you can. No heart. Okay, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. There we go. And then jump on your head. Heck yeah. She exploded to stars and clouds. A banana bunch. Alright, I gotta go get my freaking uh, poncho and sombrero, man. I freaking love ponchos. I kind of want to get a poncho. But wait, there's more. We're not done with this kingdom just yet. There's a second part. All right, let's go get my outfit. Oh yeah, you can actually buy power moons. Oh, and a freaking health increase. Oh yeah. Wait, then what's the purple guy here for? Oh yeah, you can get like two outfits, that's right. And you can get like knickknacks and stuff for the uh, the Odyssey. A sombrero. Change now. Get that good old sombrero. And the poncho. Oh, yeah. Ugh, I didn't equip it. Dang it. And I don't have enough to get the cowboy outfit. <laughs> I freaking love this outfit. Oh, yeah. It's a doggo. Woohoo. Waha. I freaking love the freaking... Why do I say freaking so much? Jeez. Uh, what are those dogs called? Sheba dogs or something? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. If you look at the little pamphlet, it actually like tells you stuff about the kingdom. Yeah, Sand Kingdom, home of red sands and lively locals. Population, uh, middling, size, expansive locals, Tostarians, I don't know how you pronounce that, and Moais, those are the thing with the glasses. Currency, pyramid shaped, industry, uh, tourism, and precious stones. Temperature is 104 Fahrenheit. That's the average. My god. But uh, it's definitely not that, considering that it's frozen over at the moment. So, <laughs> if it's frozen, it's got to be very, very cold here. Oh, yeah, I love the skeleton mummy things. They look so cool. Really cool enemy designs. <laughs> oh, he just freaking exploded. Hey, look, it's the boss. He right there. Oh, yeah, he's the classic uh, Zelda boss where it's just like a head and two uh, hands. I freaking love that when he lands, just like, ah, ooh. Oh, yeah, so, like, you're supposed to hit that, and it's supposed to break those blocks, but if you know how to do this, you can just, like, do that and just go around. Oh, Goomba, yes. I need you so that I can, like, walk without sliding. If you don't want to slide, you just be a Goomba. Life lesson for you guys. If you don't want to be slip sliding everywhere, just turn into a Goomba. Oh, I'm not tall enough. Oh, wait. No, I was just in the wrong position. No, I'm not tall enough. I'll go and get these Goombas. Oh. It's okay. I only need one. Huh. There we go. Big old stack of Goombas. <laughs> I don't think you can freaking stack them. Yeah, buddy. I love these platforms right here. They move. And they're slippery. Unless you have Goombas. Oh yeah, if you don't have the Goombas, you're supposed to hit that and it'll bring you up here, but I had a stack of Goombas. Oh <laughs> yeah, it has like a, is that a visor or something? But yeah, it's so funny that they do that. Nintendo have senses of humor, man. They have a good sense of humor. Oh yeah, deepest underground. Oh yeah, this looks like a coin. I wish you could like go down there or something, but you can't. Oh, yeah. Has anybody ever managed to, like, actually get over there without getting the bullet bill? Because, like, it's really far away. 
But you might be able to actually get up there. Or get over there without the bullet bill. Oh yeah, the freaking sconces that look like pipes. Okay. Oh yeah. Where ring go? Bowser took it. He's trying to marry my girl. I didn't take your freaking ring. Here, hit this ice. Oh dang it. Here, hit this ice. Oh, oh, that moved me in the perfect position. Oh crap. Come on, Mario. There we go. Ice, ice, baby. Boom! I punch your face with your own fist. Quit hitting yourself. All right. Oh yeah, he's gonna freaking use his jet arms or hands. He don't have arms. That must suck. Wonder how it feels to be just a head and two hands. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now he's gonna switch it up. He's gonna move his hands like crazy. Boom! I do like this boss fight, though. It's simple, but it can be, like, not really difficult, but, like, you can mess up, and it's like, oh, God. And if you only have, like, three hearts, it can be like, oh, man. Oh, you can actually, like, aw, oh, dang it. Ah. Oh. I believe you can capture the hand whenever they're clapping like that. Better be careful, this boss is gonna clap your cheeks. There we go. Alright, switch it up, switch it up. Oh yeah! Nice. Uh, you know the Yu-Gi-Oh anime? Yeah, I've actually watched uh, a bit of it. I got pretty far into it, but I never like finished it. Alright, there we go. And by defeating the boss... Pretty much all of the ice is now gone, and it's actually warm here. Or hot, rather. Oh yeah, it's got some some windy sands going on there. See the wind pushing the sand? Alright, so I think that's pretty much everything. I got this outfit. I completed the boss. Let's go to a new kingdom. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can actually, like, ground pound the top of the Odyssey. Oh, yeah, that's something that I I didn't like. I kind of wish that, like, because, you know, it showed that it was uh, green. Each kingdom has, like, a different color, and I kind of wish that the Odyssey, like, balloon part was, like, a rainbow color, but, like, they didn't think of that. Good job, sir. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. We can, like, either go to the wooded kingdom or the lake kingdom. I think I'm going to go to the wooden kingdom first because uh, I'm not a huge fan of the wooded kingdom. But I do love the Lake Kingdom and the uh, the other kingdom. Was it the Sea Kingdom or something like that? They actually made underwater levels good in Mario Odyssey. Because <laughs> most games, if it's like underwater or like ice, it's just horrible. Steam Gardens. They steam in vegetables here. Road to Sky Garden. Piranha plants. Oh, they got poison. Oh, yes, yeah, these things. They look like little um, watering cans. Robot watering cans. Interesting locals here. Oh, yeah, there's some coins up there. Just go all the way around here. Oh, yeah, we're in like a dome. For some reason, I never realized that that's just a straight up mountain JPEG right there. Or JPG. I forget how you pronounce it. But yeah. <laughs> Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. <laughs> Freaking good old Hank Hill, man. But yeah, we're in like a dome thing. Oh, I guess because it's like a garden, so it's like enclosed. But how do we... I guess there's like an opening at the top. Oh, God. Don't want to just fall off into nothingness down there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the freaking currency here is uh, nuts, I think. Yeah. I have these guys. I love these guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It looks like the, the weird, like, planter things that you get. And you like freaking hit it. And then it looks like a melon thingy. 
I think this is actually based off of like a Japanese vegetable or fruit, but I can't remember what. Oh yeah, if you shake the controller, you can actually like grow a little bit longer for a short amount of time. <coughs> Uppies. Woohoo. Oh god. Oh, okay. Oh my god. One of the freaking moons in this game is titled Very Funny. But I can't remember uh, which uh, moon it is. Excuse me. Oh, there's a Sphinx. He's gonna ask me a riddle. These trees look really good for a Switch game. Not gonna lie. This place has a lot of foliage, too. Alright, Sphinx. Greetings, traveler. Hello there. What does the monster want from this kingdom? Uh, flowers. Yeah. Ooh. More money. I need this so I can buy an outfit here. Which I forget what the outfit here is. Oh yeah, these rocks look like, I think it's peas whenever they've like sat out for a while and then they can just like, you can like touch it and like make a dent in them and stuff. Just leave that poison to me. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can get rid of the poison. Alright, I need a freaking tank. Oh, that's later, right? Yep, this game has tanks. That you can be in. Classic Mario platforms that fall. Oh yeah, you got a little like stagger thing. It eats the hat and then boom, you can just ground pound it ground pound that piranha plant you haven't lived until you've ground pounded a freaking piranha plant I'll tell you what stretch ya boy and let's go <laughs> is there a power moon up here ah right, here we go oh there we go give me more coins I need them so I can get a new outfit is there anything up here? I don't remember. Ah! Ooh, secret invisible coins. Heck yeah. Iron Road, halfway point. Oh god. Oh, it's the big piranha. Oh god. Oh yeah, the poison gets on Mario and he looks kind of cool. Get rid of your poison. Oh. Ow. Oh, don't hit the poison again. Alright. Yep. Eat the freaking hat and boom! Oh yeah, I was, I kind of want that to be like a two cycle or a three cycle, but it's just a one cycle. <laughs> oh, the good old P-Switch. Yeah. Neat, we can use this, or use that to get across. Heck yeah, but it will disappear. All right, let's go around this way, because I think there's some coins here. Oh God. Uh, Mario, what the heck? <laughs> I was trying to do the speed run trick, but it didn't work. Mario had other ideas. Death. Michael Jackson goes wee hee, Mario goes woo hoo. <laughs> oh, another nut. Oh, yeah. Give me that nut. Cracks nut on a crumbling tower. The names of these moons are very creative. Oh, this just brings you all the way down here. And then I can get this P switch. Is that where we're going? Yeah, I think we're heading down. Oh, God. Don't want to go too fast. <laughs> I didn't even go over there where the water is. I think there might be a moon down there. Sky Garden Tower. Oh, this is where it is. The freaking Power Moon with the funny as heck title. Yep, here it is. The best Power Moon in the entire game. Nut planted in the tower. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, Nintendo? <laughs> Ooh, speedrun. Not really. I am not a speedrunner. I have never speedran a game. I feel like that would just be very tedious to do, and I would just get sick of the game. And I would never like the game afterwards. Got me a big old salad. Heck yeah. Salads are delicious, man. I freaking love salads. Especially when you get that ham and that cheese. And I like to put onion in my salad. Oh, another Brutal's fight. Man, this fight's gonna be brutal. Oh, oh, we fight this guy, right. Oh yeah, he just vomits. 
Oh. Makes me think of that Queso AI cover song. Oh, wait, this guy you can also, like... Oh, no, you can just hit him, right? Ah, come on. Because it does a certain pattern, but you can, like, interrupt his pattern. Oh, I got the freaking heart. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Oh, yeah, you can hit his hat early. Get rid of the poison early, but I was too close to him. I like how he just gets rid of the poison after you, like, whack him. Oh, God. Is it this guy who does the weird, like, satanic symbol thing? <laughs> yep. Or, well, I don't know if it's really satanic, but, like, I don't know. It does a certain, like, pattern that's like, what? Oh, no, you can just, like, jump on him early. That's it. Another banana bunch. That's blue, my favorite color. Path to the secret flower field. Oh, yeah, this boss. Freaking UFO flower sucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have enough uh, coins to um, get an outfit? Oh, is it cold down here? Dang. Oh, yeah, Mario sneezes whenever he's cold. Oh, yeah, the flowers. Why does that sound like Tim Allen for? Ooh. Get a good old, um, oh, what's it called? Explorer hat and explorer outfit. Oh yeah, I'm exploring now, buddy. Look at me, I got my little bag, little uh, knapsack, <clears throat> and now I'm a freaking go Sonic mode. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh dang it! I keep on burping. If you don't burp, then what are you doing? Oh, a tank! Yes, tank it up, boy. Boom! 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 Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, Nintendo. Collision? What the frick? Okay. <laughs> Give me your nut. I freaking nutted in that dirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're waiting in line to recharge. Oh, he just freaking died. <laughs> Twitching. He's like, oh, I need power. Man, he's just, he's just sitting there just sucking up all the power, man. Why you why you doing that, buddy? Oh my god, a Goomba with a hat. Oh, it's a pink Goomba. Oh, Roy, if we get a whole bunch of Goombas. Oh, what's this? I never went that way. Oh, there's coins there? Well, actually, no, I did go that way because, like, I believe I got, like, all of the coins in my first playthrough. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get these Goombas. There we go. I never got all of the Power Moons, but uh, I got a good bit, though. Oh god. Is this enough? Oh yeah. Oh she like. She like the stack of Goomba. I guess size does matter. Yes, this way. Oh, it's tank part. It's tank part two. Boom! Oh yeah, now I can just destroy everything. Oh yeah, I can destroy these guys now. I just want to clear this out a good bit. Nice. Alright. We're good to go. Flower petals? But they're like in the shape of the moons and stuff. Or they look like the moons. Oh my god. A big brick. Oh. I didn't know that I could actually hit these. <gasps> oh, a heart. I just realized I don't have extra health. Uh, I think it's this way that I go. Gotta go right? Or is that for some moons? Give me that tank. Oh, I can destroy that. Bring the platform down. It's kind of like a, an arena type thing. <laughs> just... They give you a bunch of freaking enemies and you gotta destroy them all. Ooh, what time is it? Oh no, okay, so it probably ended his stream. No! Ooh, fire bros! Blah! My shot is better, ah, uh, I say when I get hit from a freaking fireball. Fire blast! Boom! Oh, what? That didn't... Okay. Oh, I guess I hit his fire. Oh, God. So many tanks. So many freaking tanks. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Oh, the freaking shot, dude. This is the best I've ever done in a shooter game. <laughs> Moon me, baby. Oh, wait. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could, like, speedrun over to that spot. Yo, I've never actually tried to do that. 
Ooh, do I try? I don't think I'd be good to do it, though. I'm not that great at the game. Let's try it. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck? I don't remember ever doing this. Yo. Dude, that's so cool. I had to have done this though at one point though. Okay, Mario. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, there's a moon here. I probably have to run and jump. Ah, there we go. Yo, I don't know if I've ever been up here. Like, can I even get up here? Bro, you can. Dude, that's so freaking cool. That's a lot of coins. Oh, dang, you can just see the freaking... Oh, that's the first battle arena, that's right. I was like, you could just see the battle arena from here. <laughs> I can see my house from here. Uh, what is... Yo, the sensitivity is crazy, bro. What's here? Oh, yes, this is really good. Nice. Give me more health for the boss fight. That'd be great. I mean, the boss isn't, like, hard, but, like... It's just nice to have extra health. You know what I mean, bruh, bruh? Alright, don't be hitting me now. Okay, it only takes one hit. That's good. There we go. Ah, oh, that hit me. Uh, do I hit that, or does it just... Okay, it just goes away. Alright. I might be able to get uh, a heart before the boss. Nintendo is nice and usually gives you stuff before the boss. Souls games don't. <laughs> At least the older Souls games. God, especially like Demon Souls, you have to, you have to go so far to get to the boss. If you die, it's a long trek back. Defend the secret flower field because it's only like. Well, I think there's technically like two, like bonfire things in each like place. Because there's usually like two bosses in that uh, world. I forget what it's called. Archstone or whatever. I don't remember. But yeah. Secret Flower Field. Uh, Alright, I need to get this thing. It's sucking all the flowers. Stop sucking them, them freaking flowers. Oh, so satisfying. Well, that's the boss, guys. No. <laughs> Flowers, flowers, must have all the flowers. Demon Souls is so good, though. It is. It is really good. It is high up on the list. I never played the original. I should play the original. That was for uh, PS3, right? <laughs> Ooh, destroy! Nice. Alright, now I gotta do it again, but he's gonna freaking send some damaging rings. Oh. Woohoo! Awaha! He's gonna flip now. Does he flip? Oh, he doesn't. That would have been great if he flips, because then I could just, like, get him again. Alright, that's faster. Just do a little hoppity hop. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, one more time. Okay, is that gonna be three? Or is that... I think that's actually four or five. There we go. Got a regular one, and then boom, super tall one, but you can stretch and boom! Nice. Uh, the original is trash. The remake is so much better. Oh, yeah. Uh, freaking Blue Point actually did, like, really great with the remake uh, a lot of people say like it doesn't feel like demon souls um which i i kind of get because you know there was some stuff that they like kind of took out um in the remake but like the, it was pretty it's a pretty spot on remake and they fixed a lot of issues that the old one had and um i know graphics doesn't mean everything but like you know good old ps ps5 graphics and stuff makes it look way better Ooh, smell those flowers. Uh, yes, I think I actually got this world finished now. Oh, it's like, ooh, it's shiny here now. The sun's beaming. 
Oh my god, it's freaking Toad. What's up there, Toad? How you doing? <gasps> Squirrels! Can I capture you? That'd be funny. Yo, I never realized that this place has squirrels after you complete it. Is Mario your favorite game series? Because that's my fave. Uh, my favorite game series is probably um, Zelda, honestly. Like, I've played Zelda since I was like, I don't know, two years old or something. <laughs> but yeah, I do love me some Zelda. I don't know what my favorite Zelda game is, though. It used to be um, A Link Between Worlds. But I don't know now. I haven't really, like, played... I should, like, play through all of them. So I can, like, decide which one is my favorite. The Lake Kingdom. Oh, I love this kingdom so much. This makes me think of straight up Mario 64, man. Brutals over the lake. Love me some Zelda. I li There's so many freaking good game series out there. I like, I like Zelda. I like Mario. I like the freaking Metroid series. That's up there. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, that's up there too, man. I love the Kingdom Hearts games. Really great. I'm ex I'm so excited for Kingdom Kingdom King. God, Kingdom Hearts Four. I keep on wanting to say Kingdoms Hearts because of Kingdom Two Crowns or something. Oh, the money here is scales. Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God, the monster minions just stomped in here uninvited, and they took the dress. Oh no, we must get the dress. We must get the dress back. Oh, and you can go underwater. Take that, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. What's going on with that, man? <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild. Oh, God, please don't drown. Classic Mario puzzle thing here. Super good. Oh, yeah, the locals here are mermaids. Or, like fish mermaids <laughs> dive and swim woohoo <laughs> yeah freaking zipper right here don't mind if I unzip real quick so funny it's like how does that make sense in this type of world all right let me go down here get some boobles and uh, don't die. Watch out for the spikes. Oh, he literally said that, but like my my thumb wasn't going fast. You know, it's like how your brain is like, go fast, go fast, go fast, but it's like your thumb doesn't like move. That's what happened. Uh, can I please get a freaking uh, choo choo, please? Oh, not a choo choo, a cheap cheap. <laughs> oh, this is just. Oh, this is a moon. Okay. Down, get a bubble. I freaking love the uh, the breathing ring right there. Kind of like the stamina ring and uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, but this one just looks so much better. It just looks more like slender and not as thick. It goes, actually I was going to say it goes down faster than Breath of the Wild, but that is incorrect. Alright, so why is down be a surface? Okay. Uh, I feel like Mario's the light, lightest hearted gaming series tied with Kirby. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Mario is like, they don't really like take things too serious with Mario. Like the whole goal of Mario games is to just be fun for like all ages and to also be funny as well. So yeah. Ooh, a moon. Give me that moon. Oh, wow, I don't need to get as many moons here. Ooh, another moon uh, coin. I was going to say ring, but I was like, that's incorrect. Oh, no, do not freaking die from not being able to breathe, Mario. Oh, look at all these fish. This also kind of makes me think of, um, is it Atlant Atlantica? From King Kingdom Hearts? Oh, I can't stand the freaking Little Mermaid worlds in uh, Kingdom Hearts. I remember the first time I played Kingdom Hearts, I was confused as heck in Atlantica. I was like, where do I go? But I think all you literally do is just follow the arrows. Oh, Peach. But it could still be confusing. Oh, yeah, and freaking, uh, I'm going to say Jungle Book. Um, Tarzan World, yeah. Got stuck in there, too. I think they were actually going to put Jungle Book in, but um, 
they, uh, I think they had, like, the whole world for it and everything. Or at least, like, a prototype of the world, but, like, they didn't, like, finish it. I don't know why, though. I don't even know if you can get anything from Jungle Book, like a summon or anything. <laughs> Atlantis? I think it's Atlantica? I could be wrong, though. Uh, let's see, I'm missing two more of these banana coins. I need a cheap cheap, I'm gonna drown. Ooh, coins, heck yeah. Alright, so does this, like, immediately, like, die if I, like, get out of it? I don't remember. Oh, no, it's just, like, stunned, okay. Oh, this cheap cheap is stunned, bro. Oh, no, ah, oh, disappeared. Oh, is it behind the zipper, perhaps? And maybe behind those boxes? Oh, there's a door there. Ah, there we go. There's one of them. Get out of my way. I'm going to freaking drown. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I like that his cheeks are just like super puffy. So I've got to hold my breath. Oh, crap. <clears throat> How dare you hurt your own kind? <laughs> He's like, ooh. Go up and get that moon. Oh, that makes me think of a freaking starburst. Ooh, now I want some starburst. And skittles. Man, I've been wanting skittles for a long time. I freaking love skittles. Oh, you can actually go behind there and uh, get a power moon there. But I think you need the specific clothes here, which I don't think I have enough coins for that. Oh, yeah, you can just like jump out of the water. Woo! Yeah. Oh my god, he's <laughs> in a crown. Or a veil, rather. A wedding veil, the courtyard. We're going to court to get married. Gotta get our papers signed. Hey, uh, can I jump on top of you? Ah, oh, here we go. Woohoo! Alright. I mean, oh yes, I can jump here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I'll go over this way. Because there's a moon right there. Uh, do you find Mario or Kirby more lighthearted? To me, near evenly lighthearted. Thinking of other lighthearted games is hard. Oh, I don't know. Because, like, Kirby's, like, like, cute and stuff, you know? Just, like, a little cute ball and you just like you eat up enemies and you can like turn in the enemies and all that stuff but like i feel like mario has a bit of a darker side than kirby so maybe kirby's more lighthearted than mario but i don't know oh yeah the little like uh foliage is like i don't even know what how to describe that it's like a certain material I do like Kirby, but like to me, I feel like Mario is like top tier, like just chill and play a game type of feeling and just have fun with it and stuff. Oh, yeah, I finally got all of them in one go. I usually always miss one coin there. Uh, but tr it's hard to figure out uh, other lighthearted games. Uh, man, I don't know. I. I I kind of want to say Kingdom Hearts because, you know, it's like Disney and stuff. But that also has kind of a, like a dark side to it as well. But like, and it has more like heart-wrenching story stuff. But like, it's also kind of heart lighthearted because, you know, like Disney and, and stuff. I'm sure like if, it, if they weren't involved with Disney, then Kingdom Hearts probably would be more... I don't know about mature, but like more like dark, like darker tones. Like actually, I think Kingdom Hearts 2 was supposed to be like darker than how it actually was. Uh, but of course it's like Disney, so they couldn't really do that. So, oh, come on. Come on, Goombas. 24. Uh, okay, cool. I think this is the only boss in this place. Not in my view. Mario can have darker enemies, though 100% of the games themselves are lighthearted in my view. Oh, it's this guy. Freaking goofy guy. <laughs> he makes me think of goofy. Oh, yeah. Boom. Freaking saw blade. Golly. This is a Mario game. Why you got saws? 
That's what he does. I was thinking, like, is does he do something where it's like you, you can't, like, hit his hat? But no, he just, like, swerves it. Come on, buddy. Swerve your hat. Oh, man, I'm doing great. Boom! Have I fought every single one of them now? Oh, yeah. I just realized I still have the Explorer outfit on. Oh, yeah. It's, like, brighter here. Oh, that's so cool. It's, like, the bottom is, like, purple and it goes to blue and then, like, green and orange and then, like, pink at the top. That's really cool. Oh, okay. I was wondering because, like, I feel like this place changes after you beat the boss. And they add stairs here. <laughs> And then it shows you a little secret in the Cascade Kingdom. I think if you break... Yeah, if you break one of those, I think you get like a Power Moon or something like that. Oh, yeah, I thought that was really cool that Nintendo like really used the capture ability. Like the, the Switch capture ability, like that screenshot. So you can screenshot and look at that later whenever you're there. Oh, yeah, lock it to you. What's up there, buddy? How you doing? Oh, I didn't go down there. Oh, that's the Luncheon Kingdom. That place is cool. That's like... Color central in this game right there, man. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, right. I want to do something. I think it's here. I want to get the outfit. Let's get that snorkeler and that floaty. <laughs> I freaking love this outfit. Oh, I forgot about the shop music. I remember the first time I played this game and I got to the first shop. And I was just jamming with the music. I was just like dancing on my couch. Just like, ooh, 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 ooh. I can leave this kingdom and go to, uh, what is the next kingdom? Oh my god, it's pink. It's pink. 52 moons, woohoo. Pocket sand. <laughs> I should have made that joke in the, the sand kingdom. Oh, I think I know where we're about to go. Yeah, it's like the metro kingdom. Yeah, but like we crash land and I think we're going to go to the lost kingdom. Oh, well, I love the lost kingdom. I really like that place. It does kind of get annoying. Cause like, oh, I'm playing the game, and then it's like, oh, you crash landed on freaking Lost Kingdom, and you're like, oh man, I gotta do this part, and then Cappy gets taken away from you, but not for that long though. <laughs> it's just so funny to see Mario with that angry face, but he's got a freaking floaty on. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't the man who shredded my hat, you're supposed to shred cheese and shred lettuce. Oh, the Nimbus Arena. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, I forgot how awesome the boss fight, the Bowser boss fights are. This is so funny. I'm about to beat a freaking huge turtle with my hat. But I have a floaty on. <laughs> oh, Banjo-Kazooie is also a lighthearted game. True, that one is pretty lighthearted. Oh, yeah, the bouquet is like piranha plants. I freaking love that. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is so cool. Hit the freaking hat. Oh, and now I've got his hat. And now I can freaking punch Bowser. Oh, I've been waiting for this, buddy. I know I was inside you for a bit, but now it's time to beat you up. You won't get that joke if you never played Bowser's Inside Story. <laughs> it kind of sounds funny, like, out of context. But Mario and Luigi went inside Bowser. I can't remember why, though. Oh, I'm so excited for the new Mario and Luigi game. I think it's going to be the bomb. Oh, I need to throw stuff at you. Okay, then... Okay, he didn't guard. He'll, like, guard and then, like, uh, swing his tail. So you have to, like, jump. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Oh, he's got more hats. Oh, he's got more hats. Oh, I got his hat. Yes, yeah, sometimes I miss that and it sucks because then I have to do it all over again. Oh, there's little Bowser heads on the thing. Okay, it didn't send out the metal one. I don't think you can hit the metal one. Oh, you can shake the controller to like do it like way faster yeah, and then jump. Oh, come on, Mario. Yeah, dude. Such a cool boss fight, man. Oh, he's angry now. 
Oh god, run Mario! My ship! Yes, Lost Kingdom, Forgotten Isle. Oh dude, this kind of actually looks like the new Mario and Luigi game. Dude, I'm so excited. Because I think you're like on an island. But you get like a boat and it kind of makes you think of Dredge a little bit. Because I played a little bit of that. Uh, that'd be a fun game to like stream. Just a nice chill, chill game to play. All right, Cappy, it's time for you to get stolen from a freaking gliding boy. I just wonder, whenever you lose Cappy, like, you kind of miss him because it's like, oh, man, like, he does so much for me. So, like, without having him, I can't do all this stuff that's very useful. Oh, yeah, it's that enemy. What do they do? Oh, yeah, they just, like, lock onto you and just, like... Oh, wait, no, it's like when you throw Cappy at it, and it's like, I'll lock on to you and destroy you. Hold on, Cappy. I have important business here. There's a moon right here. Yeah. <laughs> Shine get. My voice cracked. You know, I thought that was going to stop whenever I turned into an adult, but, uh, nope. It's not just a teenager thing. It's mostly just like when you put pressure on your atoms or vocal cords or whatever. You got a moon. Especially like when your voice is like tired like mine, so it's like you really are like straining your vocal cords So it's like easier for it to crack All right, this is cool. So he's gonna go right here and I'm gonna do But oh dang it. I didn't time it right Yeah, take that bird. Oh, I want to say gliding boy. Well, I guess birds glide. Oh Yeah, the freaking wiggler things they look kind of funny in this one, though. But they stretch like a freaking accordions. I love that sound so much. What's up there, guy? Yeah, this is what he does. And then he freaking... Ugh. Nice. You guys should just, like, jump around that. <laughs> uh, I assume you get, like, health right there, but uh, I don't need that. I just realized that sound effect. Hold on. Okay, it sounds similar to, um... I think it's Phantom Hourglass with the choo-choos. Oh, come on, bro. Or it might be Spirit Tracks with those weird enemies in the forest. There we go. Ooh, I need to be getting some coins because I need to get the outfit here. I really like the outfit here. In this kingdom, it's really cool. Jump and get some coinage. Ground pound and get some platforms. Get some coins while you're at it, too. <laughs> this just looks so funny. Wall jumping was freaking... Uh, what are those things called? Little flippers? Yeah, that's what they're called. Oh, that made me think of Twilight Princess whenever you get the, um... The Zora outfit. And it's like legit flippers and stuff. I like this place as well. Yeah, this place is really cool. Yeah, the freaking aviator outfit. Gliding down. Back on the island. Oh, the freaking slingshot right there. Oh, oh, he almost died. Soaring over Forgotten Isle. Oh, no, it's been forgotten. No. I'll never forget you. Hey, I wonder if that's where Mario and Luigi are in the new Mario game. <laughs> That'd be funny. Woohoo! Good old Cappy Cappy. Good old Cappy Cappy. No cap. Oh, yeah, the currency is leaves. But yeah, I feel like the Mario and Luigi game is definitely going to feel like this kingdom. <laughs> I'm trying to get some coins. Because I want to get the outfit here. Alright, but I still have... I still got to explore this place. There's still some spots over here that I haven't got, gotten to. Oh, there's another moon over there, too. That hurt. Woohoo! Alright, get back here. Yes. Ooh, coinage. Oh my god, it's got the little flower hat. That's funny. Can I go around? Ooh. Ooh, I can do this part. What the heck? Oh, it's a platform. I was like, what is that? Look at those pixels. Alright. I think I just need to go down, right? Oh, yes, a checkpoint. Oh. Checkpoint. Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought that was cool. It's like the 3D uh, world. Has a power moon, and then you can go into 2D, and it's like in the same spot. I guess I'll do the 2D one first, because that one's actually easier. Oh, I say, whoa, that was epic. 
Oh, that actually kind of looks creepy, 2D. <laughs> With the freaking goggles. Oh, come on, Mario. It is cool, though, that you keep the outfit on in 2D mode. Spin. Spin the moon. Oh, there we go. I wonder how difficult that was to code. <laughs> I don't know. It may, it may not have been difficult for Nintendo. They've been making games for years. Oh, that's where Captain Toad is. Or, like, near here. Man, it's so funny. It's like, you know, you could be doing this, right? And it's just as simple as, you know, you press Y, you move the control stick, the thing attach, attaches to the platform, you let go, and then it comes back, right? But if you try to code that, you, you really, like... You know, you, you get humbled immediately and you're like, oh, game dev isn't actually as easy as I thought it was. <laughs> that has happened multiple times. Like, oh, yeah, that, that'd be like, that'd be easy to do that. Like, I, I see how, like, you know, the character's doing this. That'd be very easy to code. Uh, nope. Especially if you have no coding background whatsoever. That's one of the things that, um,. I don't like about like game development is like how complex coding is. Where's Toad at? Is he on the other side of, of that? I don't know where Toad is. I want to see Toad. <gasps> yes. It's Toad, my boy. What's up? Hey, I'm just going to steal your life savings real quick. You probably took that from uh, Luigi or Luigi probably gave that a as a gift um, after, you know, completing Luigi's Mansion and everything. God, my voice. It's Captain Toad. Give me a power moon. Woo! The Captain Toad game is actually really good. I remember I played it. I think I actually beat it, and I was like, yo, this game's actually good. Oh, I got a heart. Get onto these little tree stubs that look like uh, carrots. Oh, there's the power moon. Oh, that's someone from the uh, coin collecting. That's right. I was like, yo, what did I do to make a moon appear here? <laughs> uh, what boss is here? I'm trying to remember. Is there any boss here? Or is it literally just like get moons and then leave? Which speaking of get moons and leave, there's literally one right there. Let's get going. Let's get going. Oh yeah, the ship got broke. So it's like you patch it up, but it like has like the world on it basically. Or that's what it looks like. See you later, Lost Kingdom. That's a very quick kingdom. Oh, I didn't get the outfit. No. I want to go back and get the outfit. I did not get any coins for this world. Oh wait, I don't think you can the first time you get here. Oh yeah, some coins! <laughs> oh yeah, they're like, hats. I think there's also like, a lot more stuff here. Now that we have came back. There we go. Oh yeah, you can actually like, throw your hat on these and uh, it'll light up the lights. I actually did that whenever I first played. I lit up all of the lights. Thinking that, you know, I'd be like, good old, you know, Zelda puzzle stuff and you get a power moon, but nope. Nope. As far as I know, none of the lights do anything for, like, power moons and stuff. Oh, Hat Kingdom. Yes, I love this place. It makes me think of, like, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Tim Burton, Disney stuff. I think it's the music. I don't know who composed this song, but it, it sounds like Kingdom Hearts music. I know that the, the woman who did Kingdom Hearts music also did music for the Mario and Luigi games, didn't she? Oh, hey, it's a little hat boy. A little hat ghost. Oh my god, <laughs> birds <laughs> that are ghosts that have hats. Oh yeah, the freaking uh, flying Goomba boys. Now they won't like die, right? Like they'll go to the bottom and just like chill there. Oh, nope, I think they die. I think they die if I go down there. <laughs> I forget, do they get tired or... No, they just have like a limited uh, height. You think so? Yeah. I think she did do some music for um, the Mario and Luigi games. Oh, yeah. Freaking fancy Mario up in here, man. This is such a cool outfit, too, because it's like black. It looks really cool. Your boy gets a top hat. Look at this. Oh, so flashy. Yeah. All right, let me go over, this, over here by this boom box and just... Yeah, dude. A little dance party. <laughs> Yeah, man. 
I still need to learn that dance. <laughs> I remember uh, me and Uzzle recorded this years ago, and I showed that to him, and he didn't know that that was a thing. And I was like, I need to learn that dance, and he was like, oh my god, you do. But I have not done it yet. Alright, yeah, this outfit's sick. I love this outfit. Alright, let's go t back to the, um... Ooh, let's go to Cascade Kingdom. Fancy, heck yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm taking a fancy outfit to a... Uh, what is that era called? I don't remember. Dinosaur era. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't think they had tuxedos back in this time. I try to get, like, at least the first set of outfits... Whenever I play this game. Oh yeah, the caveman outfit. It's freaking dry bones head. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> His hair is all messy. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> I love that so much. It's so cool. See, this is why Nintendo games are so much better than other games. <laughs> But yeah, Nintendo would definitely know how to, you know, make really good outfits and stuff. Alright. You know what? I'm, I'm in New Donk City, okay? I can't be, like, walking around here with cave caveman outfit. They're gonna think I'm a weirdo, alright? They're gonna think... They're gonna think I'm a weird person, you know what I mean? I gotta... Especially because, you know, Paulina is there and everything, like... I gotta show her how fancy I can be. So, I gotta, I gotta put on this outfit, you know. I gotta be fancy boy for a moment. Alright, wait until Paulina sees me. She's gonna be like, leave Peach. And follow me. I'm gonna be like, okay. Oh, it's just Pauline, not Paulina. Oh my god. Aren't these people, like, average height? So that means Mario's, like, extremely short. Oh, what outfit do you get here? I don't remember. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the currency, is, like, makes me think of, like, uh, Canadian coins with the, uh, the, the queen on it. Gotta put the queen on the bill like we put the president on the bill. My goodness, wow, he's really promoting the wedding here. Oh, yeah, it's the freaking maggot things that turn into flies. Is that how that even works? Like, I don't even, I don't even know, like, how maggots come to be, you know, transformation process. Because I know there's like, you know, maggots, gnats, flies. Is that like the same thing? Or like, you know how a butterfly will like get it into a cocoon and then, because it's like a caterpillar then it turns into a butterfly, you know? Oh, <laughs> it's got a little hard hat. I don't even, I don't even know. Is it like a gnat? then turns into a maggot, and then turns into a fly. So I always thought that the, the maggot came first, but I don't know. That's like a chicken and the egg thing. I mean, we all know that the freaking chicken came first. If you think the egg came first, then you are weird. But I mean, I guess it does kind of make sense. If if you could just make a chicken, you could just you could, you could also just make the egg, and then make the chicken hatch out of the egg, and then grow... But, like, I don't think that's how it was done. It was chicken first. Probably. Most likely. Uh, sorry, you got stuck on Instagram. Hey, everybody gets stuck on Instagram. Don't worry about it, dude. I get I get stuck on Instagram, like, all freaking day. Oh, is that a health increase? Oh, no, it's just extra health. Okay. Uh, maggots turn into flies. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. Oh, yeah, I gotta go up this uh, scaffolding. I think I can wait, can I actually go in here or is it closed off? Oh no, it's closed off. Oh, that's where the uh, the band goes. That's right. Yes, I can go up these stairs. I almost said scares because I was gonna say scaffolding and stairs. Oh, Mario, you didn't do your side hop. Now ah, that works. Mario! <laughs> oh god! You just got freaking ganged up by a Goomba. Oh god! Ooh, what's on the other side? Wait, I think there's coins up here, right? Man, this kingdom is like... It's kind of small, but there's a lot to explore in it. Yes, the city is in uh, construction, so it is not complete. 
if people are like, I don't like New Donk City because it doesn't feel like a complete kingdom, technically it's not a complete kingdom. They're still working on it, alright? Mario Odyssey 2, it'll be finished, alright? <laughs> They're probably not going to make a Mario Odyssey 2. They don't really do like... Well, I don't know. I was going to say they don't really do sequels, but they do, but like... It's kind of different, you know? Like, Super Mario World is a sequel to 3, I guess. But at the same time, it's not, because you're in a different, like, land completely. Oh, that's why I always go over here. Because you got to get that moon right there. So, it's, like, Mario Galaxy 2, like, that's a sequel, because, you know, it has 2 in the title. But, like, it's not the same, like, uh, planets that you go to. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, God. This is, like, Donkey Kong stuff right here, buddy. Freaking platforms are breaking. Die, Goomba. Die. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, some health that I don't need. Golly, Bowser. Alright, here's the question, though. Would you rather see freaking native ads? Like the, the native shampoo ads on YouTube all the time? Or Bowser's Wedding? I think I'd rather see Bowser promoting his wedding more than the freaking native shampoo ads. I don't know why, but those just like make me so angry. I cannot stand them. They're just so annoying to me. Die, Goomba. Oh, come on. Don't kill me. Oh no, I need hearts. Well, there's a heart like down there, but like... Oh, I want to get those coins. Oh, there's some coins right there that I could probably get safer. Yeah, there we go. Only two, but that's probably enough to get that outfit here, which I don't remember what the outfit here is. Oh, wait, yes, I do. It's the Mario Maker outfit. <laughs> Bowser's waiting for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'd rather see that. Oh, there we go. Oh, classic Mario wall jump. Okay, go down here. Go this way. Oh, I think there's some uh, a heart uh, increase right there. Oh, god, now there's freaking flies. I don't know, it's a moon. Okay. Alright, can't you actually get, like... Yeah, you can get coins from hitting the posters down. Alright. Oh, yeah. I got a heart because I got a moon. That's right. Oh, they can still hit you from up here. I was like, hi, you can't hit me from here. You suck. But I was incorrect. Ah! That's actually best to kill them before they turn into flies. Because then they can't attack you. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Ah. Alright, I think I made it up to the top. Or, not quite, but we're getting close. Oh god, a Goomba. Man, look at all those buildings. Dang, that's so crazy. Like, that's like... For Nintendo, those are like high-quality buildings. And they're loading them from that far away. And they have a freaking, like, JPEG in the back. In the skybox or sphere and there's cars going i never noticed that there's cars going i wish you could go over there but you know it's not freaking spider-man over here <laughs> where would you rather go new york city or new donk city like without the craziness that is happening right now I think I'd rather go to New Donk City because you can see Pauline, probably see Donkey Kong, you know. You could get a cool uh, worker's outfit, pretend like you're Mario, making levels and stuff, you know. <laughs> and heck, maybe you'd actually be able to see Mario. You can't see Mario in New York City, man. Look at this tank. I really do like this boss fight. It is kind of funny. But, like, it is a really good boss fight. Oh, God. It's shooting the freaking fireballs. Oh, God. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh, yeah, I gotta shoot it like crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our chance. Shoot, what happens if I shake the... Oh, that's just motion controls, right? Oh, God, it's gonna teleport. It's gonna teleport. Oh, yeah, I can't hit when it's doing that. Oh, that was close. I think this was showed off in the trailer, too. This might have also been in the, the demo they showcased in Walmart. Oh, it does it a three-time. A three-time? 
<laughs> he does it a third time. Good old free cycle. All right, where are you showing up? Oh God, that's where it's showing up. Why would you show up right there? Oh, it gets longer. Oh, it gets longer. Oh, it gets longer. That's what she said. <laughs> Cue the Michael. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, fireball candy. Fireball candy burns. There we go. Now just shoot it. Okay, so this is only two cycle. Nice. Golly, that's always super crazy. You know, it's actually kind of nice that it's a two cycle, because this boss can take a bit and can be kind of annoying. Oh, it's going to get all... It's going to get all daytime now, and the storm's going to go away. And the city's going to be all... It's going to be... It's going to be pumping. A fresh start for the city. Pauline. She's like, I need help with the concert. Don't worry, I got a fancy outfit. I'll, I'll help you out so you can you can throw a fancy concert. We got it. Look at those taxis. Oh, yeah, this is actually the first thing they showed off in the trailer was New Donk City. Because, like, Mario came out of one of the manholes. Woohoo! Woohoo! Can't you actually, like, stop a car from, like, getting in front of it? Yeah. I don't think there's, like, a model in the car. But then he's like, woohoo! jump off the cars then you can actually like swing on the lights right there oh yeah the uh, yeah like the little walking signs there's like question mark blocks and the streets actually have names like Espresso Street and uh, Cranky Avenue cuz you know like Donkey Kong and stuff the freaking attention to detail is like really great uh, Rambi <gasps> oh my god Rambi from Donkey Kong Country Ratley? Oh, is that the freaking rattlesnake from um, Donkey Kong Country 2? I've never actually like looked at all of the signs, so they probably have like... The, the, I, there's probably some references that I don't know. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to do in this kingdom. Jam it out. Jam it out. Jam it out. Oh, I actually need to talk to uh, Pauline. Look at me, Pauline. Look how fancy I am. You like fancy men? I know I do. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh god, New Donk City Festival. Oh no, am I gonna have to fight with Don? <laughs> yeah, Bradley is from Donkey Kong Country too. Heck yeah. Man, we never completed that. We died like crazy though. I remember we were laughing our heads off like crazy. <laughs> it looks like he's like doing the drums to the song. Oh, yeah, we're actually in the hall now. I am dancing. Yeah, it's cool. Like the more band members you get, like you know, they'll show up on the stage, and more people will show up in here. Oh yeah, okay. So there's a mini game here. It's it's a jump rope, and basically you jump the rope. You get so many jumps, and you get a moon, and you can do this like two or three times, I think. But like. I didn't really know the timing because it gets really fast and Mario is like has a high jump. So what I did was I got on that like scooter thing over there, drove over here and then jumped with that <laughs> until I got the freaking power moon. I think it was like, I think I was trying to get up to 100 and that's how I got up to 100. Okay so 30 is that one, but if you get up to 100 and you get a, another power moon and the scooter allowed me to do that. Oh, God. 50? Dang. This is probably the best I've done, like, first try. Golly, and it gets faster, too. Like, this isn't, like... Top speed, right? Or maybe this is. Oh my god, I did it! Oh, dude! <laughs> oh, man. Dang, I did that first try. 
Yeah, we should finish Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country 2. That'd be great, man. <laughs> uh, Squawks Park. Aw, oh, Squawks. Throw up the freaking eggs. I, I freaking love the scooter. I also love the rumble for the scooter. It's really good rumble. I wonder if you can hear that on the mic. <laughs> uh, oh, you can't back it up? Can you back it up? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, the road's not complete. Oh, yeah, I can... Boom! <laughs> oh, dang, that was cool. Uh, oh, that's blocked off. I can't do that right now. There's actually a manhole that you can go down. I think it's right here, yeah. I think that's later, though. Alright, I need to be getting some band members up in here, man. Why are there tomatoes here? <laughs> well, whoever that is ain't gonna be eating tonight. Oh yeah, it's like old Donkey Kong. I think that's what Pauline used to look like. She was blonde. Like Peach. Oh, I can get the outfit here now. I, I really love the flicking things. Those also kind of look like um, the safety cone things. Uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. I shouldn't have threw my hat. Oh. Oh, there's a switch there. That probably you press that to get over to him easier, I think. But uh, I like to flick my way to places. There we go. They don't call me the flicker for nothing. <laughs> that just sounds bad. <laughs> oh yeah, saxophone. You got a you got a sax. Yeah, play that trumpet. I was literally calling it a saxophone. And then I called it a trumpet. Oh, there's the other band member. What's up there? I think I need to get one more and he's like over there. Guitar or is that bass? I think that's... Okay, he's strumming, so that's guitar. Oh uh, yeah, but see all the people coming in now and we got like three band members. All right, I think I need like one or two more. I oh, have yeah, the music in this kingdom is... It's a bop. I like it. There we go. That time I actually did the side jump. Uh, oh, I have to get over there from this way. Just some, just some city folk chatting. Here we go. Yeah, it's part of the freaking thing that I killed earlier. I just realized it has a plug right there. <laughs> That's great. Yo, oh, what's up? Ah, this is, yeah, this is a bass. Yeah, it's got four strings. Bassist on board. Oh, it literally tells you the instruments when you get them. <gasps> yes! We can do the festival. Oh, it plays the Mario song. Woohoo! <laughs> so freaking cool. Alright, so I think I can just. Uh... Ah, here we go. Yeah, because they're like, stuff is happening in the sewers. Don't worry, I'll just turn into a freaking manhole and then just pour the lid to that and then just, woo! Drop on down into the sewers. It smells. This is like classic Mario right here, though, man. Oh my gosh, piranha. Oh yeah, they're like... Oh no, they, yeah, they use power moons for power in the city, but the piranha plants are like... Clogging it up or something like that. There we go. And I don't really need to hit that. And then I can just go on through this way and then... There we go. Ah, kill the flies. You will not fly away. I still have not gotten the outfit, but I will eventually. Alright, so I remember when the first time I played it, I kept on dying here because I didn't know that you could just like jump up here immediately. Is there coins up there or a, or a moon? Oh, it's a moon. All right. <gasps> There's Bowser graffiti. Oh, hey, Pauline. How'd you get here so freaking fast? Don't worry. Oh, wait. Can they not perform the festival without the power or something? Woohoo! Either way, I helped them. Oh, new Donk City power. Oh, I'm going to get poisoned. No. Hey, at least it doesn't gradually build up like freaking 
Uh, Souls games. Powering up the station. God, I keep on burping. That's what soda does to a man. Wow, this place is kind of big. Look at all this. Look at all these pipes. Mario would have a blast if this was like an actual level, dude. Heck yeah. Got power back. That's a lot of moons that they use. Like, look at that. I wish I had all those moons. <clears throat> oh yeah, see, it just sucks the power right out of them. Oh yeah, dang, that was quick. Uh, yes, ah, now we can do the festival. No, I need, what? Actually, well, hmm. That'd be kind of cool to do this in the fancy outfit, you know. It's a festival. I was gonna, I was gonna do this with the Mario Maker outfit, but, you know, this is better, probably. Man, she a freaking baddie, I tell you what. Oh, this part's so cool. Classic Donkey Kong. And look, they got the moon right. I can't stand it when, you know, video games and other things don't get the moon right. The moon kind of looks like a, uh, a devil show a little bit. Alright. Oh my god, 8-bit Mario with, like, classic Donkey Kong with the epic music in the back. Look at this. Hey, it's the band. Oh yeah, I think you can actually get a couple of power moons here. I don't think you get a hammer though, that'd be sick. Can I go up there? Oh, I don't really need to go up there. There's nothing special for me up there. So many people! Where were y'all? They probably couldn't load them. <laughs> Except for this one part. Freaking Sonic? So you just want to hold left right there because if you go left and then move right, Mario will like move in the other direction or he'll stop running. So make sure you just hold left. Ah, uh, this is what I was trying to do in the Sand Kingdom because you know you go through this pipe right here and you can get a power moon. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do in the Sand Kingdom, but it was in New Donk City, celebrating in the streets. Yeah, oh, the coins are going crazy. You're crazy. Shout outs to everybody who knows that quote. Good old Ferris Bueller. Ah, oh, dang it. I think if you got hit from a barrel right on top of the head, would not, like, deal damage to you. I think you would just immediately die. <laughs> Oh, I can never get all the coins in one go. I missed a whole line of coins. 17, 20. That's a lot of coins. Oh yeah, the the, the oil barrels. I think he, that can actually deal damage to you because it's fire. DK, oh my god. His initials, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. Oh, I'm gonna freaking die. Okay, is there any hearts here? Oh, I need to be careful. Oh my god, it's Donkey Kong! He's throwing barrels! What's up there, Donkey Kong? Boom! 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 Nice! Once again, defeated Donkey Kong. So is that like a projection of Donkey Kong? Or did he literally get beaten by Mario and then turns into 3D Donkey Kong and then just leaves? <laughs> Man, he's chilling out. He's chilling out? He's jamming out. Oh yeah, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Gotta dance. Gotta dance. Ooh, look at these moves, Pauline. Don't you wish you had a man who had these moves? But you playing, Pauline. You playing, man. You playing. Come on, Pauline. Come on. When you gonna when you gonna run to freaking uh Cap Kingdom with me? Woohoo! This is all in the past. We gotta move on. Let's go to freaking uh, Cap Kingdom. Woohoo! 
Traditional festival, yeah. Or, you know, we could go to the freaking uh, Sea Kingdom, have a little vacation, you know. We haven't talked in a while. <laughs> nice. So we did the boss, we did the sewage, and we did the festival. I don't remember, that might be the only multi-moon besides the boss. Oh my god, it's Toad. But don't worry. We can still get power moons. Oh, I need to go get the outfit too. Finish off the world with the, with the Mario Maker outfit. What's up there, actual person? Wait, can I go behind the counter? Oh my god. Oh, you can't do that in the Sand Kingdom. I was like, why can't you just like get in the Sand Kingdom? Like, like, <laughs> why could you go behind the, the counter in Sand Kingdom? But like, you gotta sneak behind there. This place, they don't care though. They don't care about safety. They're just like, yep. Oh, I just buy stuff from here. Oh yeah, you can get the American outfit. It's already past the 4th of July. Oh, I should have timed it with 4th of July. <laughs> this outfit's really cool. I do like this. Pauline. Yeah, dude, I love this outfit. Oh, this is cool because it's like, if you go outside, there's like two doors. And you can go in either one of them. Oh, you look at him. He's just clapping. Yeah. Yeah. Come to the shop. Get some worker outfits and help us freaking finish this city. <laughs> but yeah, and you can just like walk over here and the camera pans. Boom. I'm on the left side. Hey, ladies. How y'all doing? Oh, I need that. Oh, yeah. We can get... That makes me think of Ness. From good old Earthbound. I never like played that all the way through. I only played a little bit of it, but you know, I never actually beat it. Oh, you can use like legit like just regular coins for um, these outfits. So okay, that's just fashionable outfit. Mechanic. Does that say Famicom? And then uh, you can get a fedora and the black suit, employee cap. Oh, I need that. I'ma buy that. I need that for the Sea Kingdom. And uh, I can still get the Power Moon too, because it's only 100 coins. Yes, sir. Where can a guy get some moons around here? Uh, what's a license plate? Yo. Oh, yeah, 1981. ND. I think 1981 was when Donkey Kong came out. Classic Mario right here, man. Oh, God. Uh. I was, okay, I was like, what's the point of this place? Is it just to get coins? But no, there's a power moon at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can also, like, see other parts of the city, too. All right, one more to go. And I can get this power moon. The free It's so annoying to control this car, though, because it's like you accelerate with the left control stick and you steer with the right. But it's like, it's so weird to control, though. It's like, what? There we go. My goodness, that is, like, the most annoying power moon to get in the entire game. I also think it's oh yeah, I was like yeah okay so you, you, yeah you can you control the person which is which is really weird but I was gonna say it's weird that you can control the car like you capture the car but I guess it's more weird that you literally capture the person and just control them also what kind of lighting is on him <laughs> all right nice and to finish it off we're gonna go for a little ride around the city why not you know can't go that way because the road stops oh wait we can go this way there we go I ain't stopping for nobody in this dang city. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna jump off this freaking car. Can't go that way. <laughs> Can't go that way. The road's out. <laughs> Bridge is out. I need to play that Hobbit game. I feel like I, like, watched one of my cousins play the Hobbit game. I think it was the Hobbit game. But I remember being like, man, I wanna play that game. I can't wait to play that game whenever I'm old enough to use the computer. But I, I don't even remember what the game was, and I have not played it to this day. <laughs> it could have been a Lord of the Rings game, or it could have been freaking, like, Baldur's Gate or something. I don't know. It, it seems like it was isometric from, from my memory, but, like, the hobby game is not isometric. It's, like, 3D, so I don't know. It could have been Diablo, but I don't know. All right, cool. We got the power moons. All of the power moons. Alright, what's the next place? I don't remember. Does it split again? 
It does. Oh. Ooh, the Snow Kingdom and the Seaside Kingdom. The Snow Kingdom is more annoying than the Seaside Kingdom, but the Snow Kingdom is actually really good. That Mario on a scooter stream. <laughs> Could you imagine it was just like a five hour stream of just me riding on a scooter on Mario Odyssey? Makes me think of that Queso AI cover song. I think it was uh, instead of horses in the back, it was burgers in the back. He's like riding on a scooter, rolling out a hooter. <laughs> so funny. Shiveria or Shiver. Wait, Shiveria? 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 I don't know. That's the next kingdom. Oh, the cake thief's parting gift. Who's the cake thief? I don't remember. Are they stealing cakes? They're going to be clapping those cakes, too. <laughs> are there coins behind here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The coins here are uh, snowflakes. Cat dilly dally. Yes, there's a storm happening, and it's very cold. This is very cozy, though. This makes me kind of think of like a Zelda place. Like in, um, I think Phantom Glass and Spirit Tracks. It's just so cozy here. Look at here. Got little snow mole thingies. They're so freaking cute, and it's just so, so cozy here, man. I love it. So that is one upside to this kingdom. Oh, yeah, it's like the walls are just like <coughs> hard-packed snow. I do not have enough coins <clears throat> to get the next power moon. I mean, the, the outfit. I can get a power moon. Give me a power moon. Oh, yes. I still have the uh, health increase. That's good. Boom. Shopping in Shiveria. Oh, I can get on to the other side. The other side. The other side of me. As Hannah Montana says. Man, I actually watched all of Hannah Montana recently. It's actually a good show. I like it a lot. Oh, what's up here? Something good? Oh, I think this is a power moon. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, like the... The, uh, the rafters. Yeah. Alright, do I need to, like, talk to somebody specific, or... I think I just have to go to different sections. Oh, if you hear, like, k -k -k sounds in the background, it's my air conditioner. It has ice in it. So, sorry about the noise. Oh, these things are cool. I forget what they're called. Are they just called gusts? Yeah, you can blow things off of things. I wish I could be a spiny. Oh, come on. It wasn't quick with it. That's fine. It just puts me right here. So, you can't do that in, like... Quickness for real, bro. Oh, yeah, there, there goes my s six health. Oh my god, bro. I was not dying before. Okay, can I blow these off? No, okay. Wait, oh. No, alright. That's fine. <laughs> Gotta blow this platform over here. I forget why, though. Oh, probably to protect me from that guy from blowing me off. Ooh, there's some coins over here. Oh, I think there's actually some coins up above as well. Isn't there? Okay, I was like, Mario, don't fall off and die again, please. Uh, no, there's an X there, but that's probably a moon, I assume. Uh, oh, this guy isn't enclosed, so I can actually... <gasps> oh, do not knock me off. Do not knock me off. <gasps> there we go. Yeah. Wait, shake the controller to blow harder. Oh. That's cool. Oh, the coins move when you do that. That's pretty sick. Oh, do I have to blow all these off? That might be it. Well, oh, there's one down. Three to go. Now we go up. Now we go through this one. Oh, yeah. This one has a lot of snow. And we got the gusts back. Nice. Heck yeah, I think I have enough to get the outfit now, so that's great. Fly. Let me fly. Guess me up, baby. Uh, secret passage right here. I forget what's here. Ah, oh, moon. Heck yeah. Oh, battle arena. Oh, we're just here? Oh, right, because you have to fight them again. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one are we fighting this time? Oh, we're fighting him again, okay. Didn't we fight you last time? Oh, he's got two hats now. Yeah. I don't remember if both of them have a platform that makes us jump, or if it's just one of the hats. And the other one is just death, and that's it. Okay, so there's some, some rocks around too, so those probably give me a heart. Oh, I just realized I'm on an icy platform. So that makes it a bit more difficult. Ugh. Yeah, I need to be quick with that because I think it'll get his hat back if I take too long. Whoa, dude. Chill out. Chill out. Ugh. Oh, you gotta jump, Mario. You gotta jump, Mario. There we go. <laughs> Dang, no hit. No hit. Heck yeah. Power moon. Powerball. Apparently, I've never been on live television before. <laughs> nice, two more to go. I like how the platform right here like glows when you're done with it. Let's do this one over here next. See what this one's all about. Oh, it's this one. This one's kind of annoying, but it has cool enemies. I forgot about these enemies. Yeah. Oh, and then they eat you as well. I forgot about that. Oh, it kind of makes me think of uh, Zelda. Majora's Mask, specifically. Okay, I think I actually need it to be up here. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. Oh, dang it. Go up. There we go. Ah. Oh. This place has a good bit of coins. I think you can get a power moon over there. Oh, I missed one coin for real. I know that's a power moon, I believe. Yeah. Alright. So where is the uh, other coin at? Because I need that to get out of here. Oh, there it is. It's literally just over there. Dang, gummit. You done bit me, sir. <laughs> Freezes in midair, as you do. If you don't freeze in midair, then uh, what are you doing with your life? A speedrun could probably do this game in like what, an hour? Maybe even less. I don't know. I don't know what the speedrun of this game looks like. I should watch one. Huh. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Nice. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Was it the 10th when I started recording this? Golly. Five days later. Five days later. That's alright though. I've been busy editing. Which, by the way, people have been enjoying this series. Like, if you look at my channel, my videos usually get like two views. <laughs> it was like crazy when I got like 50 views. Um, And that usually is like for the video being out for like months only having like 10 like five views or whatever oh yeah we got some icy platforms that fall down but then they turn into platforms and the goombas have uh, santa claus hats um but with mario uh, odyssey the first episode got like a hundred something views in like hours i know that's not like a lot compared to most of these subscribe uh, these youtubers out here these famous ones but for a small channel with only like 200 subscribers and you get like a hundred views in a, in a actually more than a few hours but yeah compared to only like 50 in like a month you know that's that's pretty crazy um but yeah so actually i think it's got 200 views now so it's it's getting up there quickly for me uh very slow for a lot of other youtubers but you know for me that that's pretty darn quick so that's pretty nice It'd be great if one day, you know, I have like, I don't know, 10 million subscribers or whatever, and I get like however many views and however amount of time. And I like look back on this, I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I was excited for 100 views. <laughs> Little does he know. In four years, he'll be getting 10 million views in each episode. <laughs> okay, I don't think I actually need those. I think those are just to scare you. Oh, yeah, that's nice that the, the Goombas actually don't slip and slide everywhere. Oh, this is cool right here. Gotta make these uh, 
platforms fall down and, and break that ice. And the platform's actually like more circular. Whee! Bonk. Yeah, buddy. We actually saw that earlier. We could see the bottom of it. Man, there are so many coins that I'm missing. You know, because, like, I don't know. I'm, I remember, like, I think it was Israel and Brennan talking about there's not a whole lot of, like, collectathons, which there aren't really, like, to this day. Like, Banjo Kazooie was, like, collectathon for sure. But this is, like, this is pretty collectathon. You got lots of moons, lots of coins, lots of outfits to get. The Bound Bowl Grand Prix. All of this part. But I don't know, I just never put it together that this is a collectathon like Banjo Kazooie. So that's pretty cool. Man, I want them to put Banjo 2 and Donkey Kong 64 on the Switch and, and uh, remake Banjo Kazooie and 2 and make Banjo 3 E. That'd be good. Alright, let's go down here. Whee! We have a tournament to go to. This is cool right here. This makes me think of a classic Mario minigame thingamajig. First time I played this, I, I sucked at this part. Uh, okay. So there's a pipe that brings me back up there. And then there's this way. I think I actually need to go this way. That big feller back there is like the mayor of this place. Oh yeah, this guy. He ain't got a hat. So I can whack him, I think, right? And then... Wait, how do I, um... Let's see. Oh, I have to talk to him. Oh, yeah, because he's, like, nervous about going and doing the, the race. So I gotta talk to him to make his head, you know, not covered up. And then, boom! Give him the power of confidence. Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> These things are so cute. I think they're called Shavarians. Oh, I actually gotta go up here. So, yeah, you can imagine why, you know, first time playing this... I was horrible at it, so. Because it's very bouncy and very sensitive with the movement and stuff. Alright, let's see how I do. Shavarian Elder. Oh, he's an Elder. Okay. Yeah, that guy's pretty cool. Looks like I'm just in time. Heck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta train. Aw, oh, man. You gotta time the, the bounds so that you go faster than everybody else. And you want to, like, typically stay in the middle right there if possible. I love that sound when you, like, build up all the way. And you don't want to hit the edges that, like, bring you the other direction. Let's see how I do. I don't remember if I need to be in first place or not. But yeah, this minigame makes me think of, uh, like, Mario Galaxy in a way. Bound, boys. We must bound to win. Could you imagine your mom or dad playing this part? Because <laughs> you gotta move the character, you gotta press the B button in time, you gotta move the camera. They would probably not do very well, would they? I don't know, maybe, maybe your parents will. But I imagine most parents wouldn't, wouldn't be. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, this is only lap two. I think they actually get faster, right? The people behind me, and I can't see where they're at either. This says South Strasfall. There we go. Yeah, buddy. I hit the freaking edges again. How dare you hit the edges? Don't. Hit the edges, big boy. Don't hit the edges, big boy. Woo! I think I got it first. Try first place. Oh, nice. A minute, six seconds, and 74 milliseconds. I'm sure the speedrunner can do that in like five. No. <laughs> nice. What a race. Heck yeah. Multi moon. Nice. Oh, they look sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just better. Woohoo! Wee! Oh, thanks, guy. I just did, was there some outside? Are they watching the race? Uh, of course the camera's not gonna show it. Oh wait, that is a whole bunch of Shavarians back there. Dang. Woohoo! Oh yeah, and the, the snow is gone. Or the um, storm is gone, so you can actually see. Oh, I could buy some health from him though, honestly. And it's only 50 coins as well, so that's pretty darn cheap. 
All right, let me get an outfit. Sorry for getting on your uh, counter. Snow hood and snow outfit. Oh, snow suit. Okay. Yeah, I'm all bundled up now. <clears throat> now I won't be freezing. I could have used this in the Sand Kingdom. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do this again. Yeah. This is Mario Kart right here at its finest. <laughs> Dang it, I can never, like, get that, like, in the middle. Man, I need to watch a speedrunner do this. <laughs> See how better they are than me at this. I kind of wanted to go through a, a Kingdom Hearts speedrun marathon, in air quotes. Don't really know about a marathon, but, you know... Watch some good old Kingdom Hearts speedruns on GDQ. I think that would be fun. Not on stream, just like in my own time. Alright, I... Oh, I don't even know if I'll be able to catch up. I have time, I think. Ah! I hit the corner again. Oh my god, your boy has done it! Oh, and quicker time, too! Oh, clutch! Yo! Dang, dude! <laughs> yes, sir! Oh, it's just one power moon? Okay. Unless I do it, like, multiple times and then, and then get a multi-moon, but I don't remember. We have no more prizes, but you are welcome to race. Okay. Nice! So, yeah, there we go. So, that's the Snow Kingdom. Snow Kingdom is complete! And now it is time to go to the Luncheon Kingdom, I believe. Oh no, it's the sea Seaside Kingdom. Right, right. Oh, champagne, anyone? Seaside Kingdom. Gonna wear that those good old shorts. <laughs> the glass is half empty. Yeah, because that freaking Mozart dude is drinking up all the freaking water. What's on top of that fancy goblet? It is a Mario Sh Sunshine enemy. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, this is a funny, like, topic to talk about. Mario has them good old titties, right? But when you play, like, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, Link doesn't have titties. Don't know why. Oh, I didn't even show uh, another thing in this game, which is kind of funny. I don't know if there's any dogs in this kingdom. But uh, if I can find another dog, then I'll show you guys. But um, the dogs in this game have booty holes. So let me just go down this pipe. <laughs> and get back into the Odyssey. It's funny that we spawn at top, but yeah. So yeah, the, the Odyssey has, is it three different ways to enter? You can enter from the back, the front. You can actually ground pound the top and go down as well. Like the little uh, manholes in uh, Mario Sunshine. Let us go this way. I don't need many moons in this place either. I think the kingdom with the most moons you have to get is maybe New Donk City. Uh, all right, these mini games are cool. Wherever your controller is vibrating the most is where the moon is. Is it here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, the moons are purple here. Heck yeah. Thank you, snail guy. Yeah, that's the locals here. Oh my god. I forgot about this part. I don't know if I'd be able to do it. I could probably just get my Joy-Cons and do it. But this mini game here, good old volleyball. So can I play it right now? Oh, it's a later thing. Okay. Flag. Beach house. Ooh, it's a nice beach house. This is a nice beach house. Oh yeah, I can get a nut and plant some moons right there. <laughs> What's up there? Dory? I think that's Dory, unless this is a different one. Oh yeah, the currency is shells here. So basically, Lake Kingdom is Mario 64, and Seaside Kingdom is uh, Mario Sunshine. <laughs> and they both have cheap cheeps. Can I go this way, or is that the end of the world? Yeah, that's the end of the world. Okay. Dang. It ain't open world. Oh yeah, if you shake the Pro Controller, you can attack. I forgot about that. Down the water. Look at all those crabs. This also makes me think of that uh, crab game that came out recently. Where it's like Dark Souls, but it's like you play as a crab, I think. Or a lobster, I don't know. 
and you're like underwater and stuff. Oh, I can go down there and get a moon, I think. Uh, I guess you could get coins right there. But yeah, I love the Seaside Kingdom and the like the water, the ocean part or whatever, is pretty darn big and it has a lot to do under here. A lot of good stuff to do under here for sure. Um, but I forget what I need to be doing exactly. Oh god, there's a lot of seaweeds coming after me. Uh, oh, there's a sphinx here. And there's a lot of fish. Oh, can you not get down here normally with Mario? I guess this will, like, bring you up. Like in Mario 64. I think in every world it's 15 coins to get, like, the first outfit. So, yeah. Nice, and I have all the coins to get the outfit. Oh, no, I was I was in the water, but now I got all sandy again. Oh, yeah, Bowser was here. Another checkpoint. I think that's where you get a health increase. Oh, yeah, watch this, guys. Watch this. I can be Jesus. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a freaking moon under you. Give me that moon. Give me that moon. There we go. It's purple, just like Dory. Right, let me get an outfit. All right, we got the... The Yuffie outfit, that's what it is here. Oh my god, we got pirate Goombas. <laughs> and we got freaking shell balls coming after us. But we can easily dodge them. Oh! I dodged it. <laughs> I think there's a, yeah, there's a lady Goomba there. So if you get a stack of male Goombas, she'll be like, ooh, I like your size. Oh! Man, Mario, you're epic. Break them good old boxes. <gasps> Another checkpoint and a power moon. Yeah, so that's basically what I was supposed to be doing this entire time. <laughs> Is get a power moon and ground pound a switch. And they are locked behind the power moon, so yeah. Oh, look at that lava over there. And there's the next uh, switch that I gotta get. And there's another one right there and another one right there. There's four switches. Boom! So by doing that, you release a cork and then. Bah! <laughs> Painful, dude. Freaking knocked his pirate hat off, too. Oh! He's got lava hair. Oh, he's just shooting. Uh, are those urchins? He's shooting a lot of those. Woohoo! Alright, so I think these things are called gushins. But these things make me think of. Uh, Mario Sunshine, but as you can see you can go forward and you can go upward So it's like um, oh, What's her name? Is it it's not flush is it flood that's it not flush <laughs> flood that's her name But we are flood Okay, so shaking it does that that's actually pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and you will run out of water, too So all right, so there is lava here and we got our trusty gushin right here so we can get rid of all this lava. But we got to be careful because we don't want to, you know, fall into it. And if you shake the control, you can just, like, get it all out like that. Yeah. Wait, did the checkpoint give me more water? Hmm. It'd be funny if it did. Aha, there it is. The next power moon. Woohoo, thank you for your contribution. Nice. All right. Second switch has been uncovered. And now it is time to ground pound. Pound it. Boom. Take that. Excellent work. Uh, let's do that one up there. That one is actually probably the easiest because you literally just need a gushin and you just shoot your way up there. That's literally all it is. Oh, no, that one's actually the easiest because you just... Well, actually, I don't know. I think that one might be the easiest. Because that has, like, the balls and stuff over there. Oh, my God. That almost hit me. Woohoo! Give me your gushing abilities. Woohoo! There we go. Oh, I got hit. Dang it. Is it literally just right here? Oh, you got to be careful not to use all your water. It's literally just right here. Dang. Oh, that gushing just died. <laughs> it just disappeared. Heck yeah. Ooh, nice health. Third switch has been pressed. Ooh. Bonk. 
Man, this must be very annoying for him. He's probably got a huge headache now. Alright, so I think I actually need a cheap cheap for this one. Oh yeah, these things. So, you would think that this is just like an environmental thing, but I think these are like living creatures. I think. And if so, that's really weird. Alright, so I need a cheap cheap because I don't think I can just go up there. I think I have to like go around. <gasps> Peach! Because there's like no steps up there. And I don't think a gushing can like get all the way up there. I don't know. I think this is the correct way of doing it. Okay, there we go. Come here, cheap cheap. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, let's go. Okay, now I gotta go up here. I can't breathe. I like how heavy the fish feels. Or, sorry, the cheap cheap. When it's like not in water. Down the pipe we go. Well, that's not really a pipe, but yeah. Oh my god. Why'd you get rid of my cheap cheap if you're just gonna immediately give me one? Oh, ready for Mario 64? These are straight up the eels from Mario 64. Okay, nice. Oh, dang it. I always get hit at least once whenever I do this. Alright. Yep, a couple more. Or a few. Oh, quadruple more. Surface. Hey, there's a pipe. Alright, we have made it to the top. And it's the last one, too. Heck yeah. Now we can rid this boss of his existence. And now we can ground pound the last switch. Cutscene for the last one. Boom, son. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's angry. Alright, I need a gusher. I'm mean a gusher, not a gusher. <laughs> or are they called gushers? I thought they were called like gushers. You see him diving, dude? He's like, Whoa, oh my god. Don't you be laughing. Don't be laughing if you know you're gonna lose, buddy. You gotta be quick with it. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. I don't know if spinning is better. I think this is better for him because it's like his head, so you're like shooting below him by doing that. Oh, is he not down? I thought he was down. I thought I got him. Ah. Oh, God. He probably has a gigantic headache right now. There we go. I don't know. He's going crazy. He's spinning out of control. Oh, my God. Okay, so I think the lava's just, like, gone now, right? And now you literally just have to hit his head. Man, that water must be very strong if it hurts his head without, like, lava on his head. Got a big bulbous head. Oh, nice. Number two. I oh, it's like they go gray whenever they run out of water, but then they turn purple when they do have water. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I love this boss fight. It's really great. Action packs and pretty quick, you know. Oh, is this a four cycle? The music is epic, too. Hello, Gusher. How are you doing? Or Gushing. God. Keep calling it a Gusher, but I don't know if it actually is called a Gusher, though. Oh, he's got freaking torpedoes. Torpedo! No, I don't know if that's what it is. I think it's actually Tornado, right? Harpoon! Good old um, Legend of Dragoon. Never played that game. I have it on my PS5, but uh, that is Grind Central. Oh, I thought you got dealt damage when you hit his head. I want them to remake that game. Ah, wait! I want. Did I say I want you to remake that game? I want them, the creators of the game, to remake it for like PS5. And fix a lot of the grinding issues. Oh my god! Oh my god! This guy's so annoying. Just let me get you, buddy. There we go. Yes. And he's down. <laughs> get off of side, Mario! Oh god, it's huge. Boom! He's dead. See you later, buddy. And we fall into the water. Yay. And now it's being filled again. I think he can actually go down to the bottom. I don't remember what's down there. Is it like a painting or is it like a moon? Ah, oh, it's a painting. For whatever kingdom. There's also a water bubble. Multi moon. Alright, let me get my controller so I can show you guys this epic minigame strat. Heck yeah, we did it. 
Oh my goodness, what a pretty sunset. Yeah, this place looks awesome. Oh, it's sparkle water. Okay. Yeah, dude, look at this. This is like so freaking beautiful. I think I like this. Uh, I like the sunset more than the previous one. Oh my god, it's the dog. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Doggy got a booty hole. <laughs> He's like, don't show my booty hole. <laughs> nice. I freaking love this outfit. So this is a cheeky little mini game strat. All right, so two players, and I'm gonna go to two player mode. So that's Mario, and this is Cappy. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm probably gonna fail immediately, but there we go. Oh wait. Oh, do you have to hold it on this controller? Okay, but yeah. So Mario can just chill in the corner, and you know, player one, player two, or whatever can control. Cappy to hit the volleyball because Cappy is not floaty and he's very quick. He's very quick with it, so like this minigame is a lot easier to do as Cappy. It does get faster, but like, yeah. And also, you want to be aware of Mario not to like hit him because I think if you hit him, Mario will start wearing Cappy again. Alright, I don't know how many of these I need, but like, yeah. Oh, Cappy kind of bounces when he hits it too. But not too much of a bounce. That's not too bad. But yeah, this is like way better to do. Okay, well yeah, if you hit Mario, then you could just like press Y as Mario. Oh, there we go. Nice. First uh, power move for doing that. I think you can actually get like two or three. Maybe it's just two. Oh yeah, Cappy also kind of like floats in uh, player two as well. But yeah, there we go. Nice little mini game strat. Much easier than, you know, doing this. Because, like, watch this craziness right here, man. You have to do that every time. And you see how, like, kind of floaty Mars movements, in, movements is and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's just easier to do it as, you know, Cappy and stuff. Alright, back to one player. I think I could just let my Joy-Con controller just chill on the desk. But, yeah. Alright, Seaside Kingdom is complete. Now I think it is time for Luncheon Kingdom. Dang, son, where'd you find this? I found it in the Seaside Kingdom. Luncheon Kingdom. Oh, we gotta fight another Brutal, and we gotta fight that bird. Who wants that freaking meat? Let's get that meat, gamers. By the way, guys. Speaking of going and getting that meat. Go to a good old YouTube channel called Gamer Meat. It's a couple of guys goofing around. Really great content. What highly recommend. Alright, so the coinage here is like tomatoes, I think? How can I get these? Oh, I need to get a fireball across, don't I? Alright, well, I guess I can get those later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little chef's hat. You got that corn over there. It's cone! The most beautiful thing. Woohoo! Oh, well, I just destroyed those three Goombas. Excuse me. Uh, where's over here? Ah, uh, Goomba Lady. Goomba Lady, okay. So these tomatoes are hot, so when you hit them, you know, there'll be puddles of tomato. But with the freaking uh, bubbles over here, I don't actually know what they're called. They might call, be called, like, lava bubbles or something. Uh, you can, because you can, like, jump out of the the soup stuff here, and you can land on those. So there's a, those kind of turn into platforms for the, the fire thing, which I botched that horribly. Oh yeah, when Mario burns his butt, he starts running like a madman, like he always does. I freaking love it in Mario Sunshine when he when you fall in love because like, wow, mama. <laughs> he sounds like he's in excruciating pain, which I mean, wouldn't you be? Oh my goodness. This makes me think of Kingdom Hearts for some reason. Oh wait, what's it called? Something Coliseum. Olympus Coliseum. That's the name of the world. Oh, we're fighting this guy again. Oh, that makes sense. Because he eats a lot of food and he vomits. Oh my god, is this queso? I need that heart. Thank you. I'm a heartless in Kingdom Hearts. One cycle. Boom. Oh, it just clears out all the vomit. Or are those supposed to be like beans or something? Or are those... I think those are beans. It could be something different. Oh, it still got me. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Nice. 
Oh yeah, the moons here are the best moons because they're light blue. Those also look the most delicious. The light blue ones and the pink ones look like they'd be so good. Nintendo, release some candy that's like hard candy, but also like gummy candy of the moons. Like you could make so much money and make them like Starburst and Skittles combined. That would be, oh, I would buy those like crazy. Nintendo, I would give you all my money for that. All the money that I don't have because I'm broke, but yeah. <laughs> Whenever I get money. Three tomatoes? Or are those supposed to be apples? I think those are supposed to be tomatoes. But look at all this. We got freaking tomatoes, eggplants, disgusting shrimp. Uh, we got some... Uh, crap, what are these called? These aren't leeks, are they? They're uh, turnips. That's the word. I think we got some beans. We got some um, bell peppers. That's what they're called. Got some pumpkins. Oh, man. They're probably making a Zelda stew, aren't they? Yeah, dude. I also like how like low poly this world is. I bet this was like very quick to make. They do have some gradient to them, but like, you know. Not a lot of like processing power and all that stuff compared to um, all the other kingdoms. Knock the cans down. Golly. Yeah, buddy. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. I can get a power moon right here, too. Oh, this is more difficult because there's five instead of three like last time. What's up, guys? Y'all are in the Sand Kingdom. Okay, so it's after the hearts. Oh, I missed. Um, dang, I'm at. Okay. Dang. I literally just missed one. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, so this one requires a good bit of moons. Not as much as uh, Metro Kingdom, I think. I still think that has like the most moons you need to get, although I could be completely wrong about that. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, uh, you know in New Donk City? With the like, safety cone looking flicky things? Well this one's like, a fork. But this is like, the natives in this place. <laughs> So it's so funny. I look a little mini stew. Oh, that's a golden turnip. <gasps> Dude. Look how golden this thing is. Ah, there we go. I think it's the golden ones that have the moons. Yeah, but yeah, this is definitely like the most colorful kingdom in this entire game. Such a great color palette, too. Oh, you see, that's another thing. Uh... If you watch, I think it's either Metroid Fusion or Metroid Zero Mission on my channel. I talk about how Game Boy Advance games were very colorful. Like, the colors are kind of, like, exaggerated a bit. They're, like, bright. And, you know, what would be, like, brown would be, like, red to give it, like, more color definition. To make it, like, really pop out at you and stuff like that. And if you look at a lot of games nowadays, it's just kind of, like, bland looking. But, and this game came out in 2017, and this game is pretty darn colorful like the, the GBA, so, you know, if I ever make a video game, it would be cool to make a video game that's like 3D like this, but to make colors like really pop out like how Game Boy Advance games would do, but yeah. And even like this right here is like, the colors just really pop out at you, man. It's really good. Oh, I could have got an outfit back there. It's fine. Let me go up here. Woo! This can be kind of difficult. There we go. I have messed that up before. Oh my god, it's the Goombas. Is that cheese? <gasps> Hammer bros! Or are these cooking bros? <laughs> I think I freaking epic hair. I forgot about that. <laughs> you just freaking throw frying pans, dude. That's what they do. You might be able to get like hammer bros and you can throw hammers instead of like pans, but like this is so much better. So I think Y is just like a. It's a closer attack, and it's slower, but if you shake it, then it's like further out, and you can go crazy with it. So it's like, oh, you can also jump as well. Oh, that's probably not good, because that, that guy right there, but you can be like... <laughs> it's very quick. It's like freaking Minish Cap, where it's like, you press the B button like crazy, and uh, Link will go crazy, because there's not like... 
I, I don't know how to describe that. There's like very little time with, uh, you know, the, the button pressing and what happens in the game and stuff. They usually like let it drag out a little bit, so you can't really spam stuff. But in this and in Minish Cap, they allow the spam. So, that'd be cool if, you know, more games did that as well, where you could just like spam the B button and like attack like crazy. Under the cheese rocks, free my soul. <gasps> Platform has been risen. What about the right path arisen? Big pot on a volcano. Dive in. So I just defeated the Brutal, and I think this is the last section of this kingdom, but I want to save that for last. So I need to get a whole bunch of moons before I do that, because that's just the way that I roll, homeboy. Because I'm goofy like that. Do 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 do. And we're bro time. Bro time, buddy. Ooh, Cornage. Cornage, nah. It's corn. I freaking love corn. Ah, oh, this is a cool thing. Get a coin right there, and then it's like, where are the other coins? And like, well, you get the hammer, bro, and what you learned from previously, you break all the cheese right here. Maybe it's not here specifically. Oh, there's a freaking moon up there. Oh, no, did I just like... Screw that up. Uh, I might have. I don't know. Is there a coin right here? Aha, there is coin. Yeah. Oh, nice. When you throw the pans, it just automatically collects the, the coin. That's really quick and smooth. I like that, Nintendo. You gotta have quick and smooth gameplay. Buttery smooth gameplay, Nintendo. There's another one that was hidden behind all this cheese. I found the cheese! Ugh. Awful stuff. <laughs> I just freaking collected the coin. Is it over here? Oh, the lava. Oh, that's it right there. Yo, that's cheeky, Nintendo. Nice! <gasps> there we go. I think that- oh, that might be it. Oh, oh, it's so close. It, oh, it's so close. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I made it! Yes! Nice! Now I can get this moon as well. Heck yeah, oh god. <laughs> I also love the voice actor for the Hammer Bros as well. Ooh, I can go across here. Let me get a chef's outfit, please. Mario is officially a cook. I'm an official cook. I cook food. Some nice stew, some nice soup. Got me some slippers. Does he say slippers or slippers? Got me some slippers. I thought he said slippers. But either way, I love that meme. Is that a freaking moon as well? Yeah. You got axma? There's a thing here. Does this just like automatically kill me? Yeah, speed run. Salt pile aisle. Give me your bubble. There we go. There's a door right there. I can go that way. Oh yeah, because you know it's a bubble and stuff. It can actually go through like lattice platforms and stuff. So, oh, there's one right there too. Okay, well they give me an extra bubble, so that's good. Mario, Mario, chill, chill. Oh, this one's pretty cool. You just use the forks and flick yourself. Go flick yourself. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You use the thing as that transfers the hat and it'll like hit the forks for you and stuff. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty dope. Pretty freaking dope. Go across over here and then uh, go right there. Yeah, so cool. Such a good game mechanic. Oh, I can actually go over there as well. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to long jump, but that still worked. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Aw, oh, dang it, Mario. Oh, that works. Nice. Yeah. Wait, what does shaking the controller do? 
All right, you like lunge forward. Got tomato boy right there. Oh God. Oh God, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Ah, okay, I'm good. Man, I'm burnt. Oh God, hello. Let me clean myself real quick. Ah, come on. Well, there goes all that health. All right, go through Mario. <laughs> Oh, this mini game is tough. I still have trouble uh, with it to this day. Oh, this is like straight up Mario Sunshine right here, dude. Straight up Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, do I need to hit those tomatoes? Uh, I think so. If I want to get a Power Moon. All right, so put one right there. Put one right there. There we go. That might be good enough. Yeah, dude. Okay, I was like, please let this be a power moon. Nice. Man, those bubbles are huge. Alright, then I could just... Huh. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna fall off. That would suck. Big time rush. Okay, yeah, that, that's where I usually die because the platform is just like moving like crazy. Oh my god. Arr, immediately jump. Oh. 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 Nice. Uh, I think there's another one that you can do where you have to like light some sconces. And then you get a power moon. Like, it's like that good old, I think it's Mario 3D Land where you use the fireball for that. And it does the do 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 do. Plays a Zelda jingle. Mario likes to reference Zelda, and Zelda likes to reference Mario. Yo, what's up, gamer me? I'm in that good old lunch and kingdom. Gotta protect that stew, you know what I mean? I can get that uh, bubble over there and light that fire over there. The, the sconce, I mean. <laughs> that tomato just freaking died. I just book it and then woo! There we go. Yeah. Go flick yourself. <laughs> Checkpoint. Oh, it's the meat. Oh, yeah. We become meat. I am meat. I love this kingdom. Yeah, it's really good. Taking a break from editing. Heck yeah, man. I'm going to get you all hungry. You're going to have to come back over here and get some food. <laughs> Gamer meat. <gasps> Guys, it's gamer meat. <laughs> Bird freaking moves the meat into the stew. We just jump on these vegetable platforms. Make our way up to the boss. Oh yeah, we got some cone. It's cone. The most beautiful thing. Okay, now I gotta fight the boss. And then get another multi-moon. This bird is crazy. That's a crazy bird. Oh no. It's blowing me. Oh, that's gonna destroy the stew. <gasps> All right, it like makes the volcano erupt. That's right. Man, Mario keeps on falling in this game. <laughs> yes. Oh, we gotta go in that cave. That's right. Does it look different? Yeah, it's like kind of sunset. I think. Now I gotta make my way up there. Oh, right, now there's just like stew in here. Bits of stew. Hammer bros, what's up? <laughs> See ya. It's cone. Nice. Cave time. Oh no, it's this part. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That was funny. Oh my god. We gotta jump over these things. Woohoo! Obstacle course. Oh, I need to be on these. Right. Oh, I made it. Nice. Light it. Yes. Don't burn yourself, Mario. <laughs> Don't light your booty on fire. Cockatiel showdown. Oh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close to the boss. Oh, by the way, guys. Because Gamer Me was saying that he's taking a break from editing at the moment. Um, go check out his Mario 64 video. That has gotten views quickly. Like I was talking about views on my channel, 
that video went up in views faster and more views than my videos have been doing so it's a great video go check it out give him some support and all that stuff it's a really great video and uh can't wait to see what the next video is going to be it's keeping it a secret for me so i'm like excited to see what it is so yeah go check out that good old gamer meat oh god piranha plants ha stunned ya mm. making my way jumping on salt platforms oh i I usually burn my butt right there to make the process faster, but, um, probably shouldn't do that. I should probably just get on, keep on going. Oh, God. Oh, Mario, you didn't do the hat thing. LOL, thanks for the shout out or shouting out the video. You're welcome, good sir. I don't know why I said good sir. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that video is really good. I, I enjoy it very much. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the next thing you're going to be doing is. Gotta go flick myself. <laughs> it's so funny to say that. Oh, it's these platforms. Oh my god, it's a freaking... Uh, what is that? A bell pepper. Ah, and we got some bubbles. Oh, yeah, this can be kind of difficult. Oh, wait, no, actually, because you can skip that. You can just... Bloop. <laughs> you don't even have to do that part over there. Uh, oh yeah, then I can like do that. So it's like way quicker than going the intended way. I wasn't the first person to find that, but when I found that, I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, guys, we're here. Boss fight time. Oh yeah, we actually play as the bubble. You'll enjoy the next video. I put out for sure. Heck yeah, dude. Right, let me get rid of this, the stew bits. Because these will definitely get in my way. Oh, durians? Ugh, those things are disgusting. I never had a durian, but apparently they, I think they taste and smell horrible. So, I'm good on that. I'm good on durian. I might actually try it, but uh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it, it vomits, and then it shoots out spiky balls, and then we hit it on the face. But, like, the vomit platform gets a little bit more trickier as you go through the fight, so... To watch out for that. Oh, yeah, also, the stew bits have some hearts in them as well, so that's good to know. Oh, God, I got hit. Hey, speaking of a heart. Oh, there's another one just right there. Heck yeah. <coughs> okay, here we go. Yes, yeah, so this is like zigzaggy. <gasps> Boom. I wonder if the lunge attack would be better for that because you can like, just like shoot forward at it instead of like going up. Yeah, it's funny, usually, like, when you do this boss fight, and for, like, me, and, like, hits all the stew bits, by the, the last phase, there'll be, like, no more stew in the arena. <laughs> so, yeah. It's pretty funny how that happens, like, every time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this one's, like, spaced out, and it makes it a bit difficult, and I think it also still shoots out stuff. Aw, oh, fell out. It also kind of looks like tongues a little bit. That's kind of weird. Yes! Three cycle. Heck yeah. Boom, buddy. Oh, we just cooked that bird. Oh, we're going to have some, some beef. And some chicken. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, man, we're getting so close. I think I literally have Bowser's Kingdom and the moon to do. Yes, Luncheon Kingdom is complete. Yeah. Oh, let's get after Bowser. Heck yeah. Let's go do it. Man, we got a lot of fuel now, dude. Yep, we got one more... Uh, ship balloon part to fill out and then it's Bowser time buddy. I noticed your Mario videos are doing great too. Congrats. Yeah, man This is unexpected. I honestly don't know why I haven't really done anything different So that's pretty crazy though. Oh, yeah <laughs> It's this part Freaking uh, Dark Souls time Dark Souls slash Skyrim, dude. This is just nuts right here, man.
<laughs> oh, Godzilla attack. <laughs> and once again, we have crash landed. <laughs> oh my god, he has like everything on the ship now. I guess people just love Mario. I guess so. I guess people are having like a Mario trip right now, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Ruined Kingdom. This place is really cool. I love this kingdom so much. It's really quick. It's literally just a boss fight, but like for a Mario game, this is like this is like Mario Dark Souls, dude. I think there's a couple moons that you can get before the boss fight, but I don't know. I just like to go straight to the boss fight. The aesthetic here is so cool. Elden Ring and Super Mario? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, uh, Margit! <laughs> Margit, go back! Go back from whence you came. I love this boss fight, though. Oh no, I don't have... Six health either. This is gonna be kind of difficult. I might die, but I don't know. Yeah, freaking, ah, freaking lightning saw blades. That actually kind of makes me think of that Elden Ring boss, where you get the somber smithing stone, uh, bell bearing. I think it's a somber smithing stone one, like the glass boss thing. All right, gotta knock those off and then. Ground pound. Those probably give you hearts if you hit them, don't they? Those little spiky things. But yeah, this is such a good boss fight. Oh, like aesthetic-wise and like mechanical-wise. <gasps> All right, so I gotta jump and then jump. Oh, notice the pattern like kind of changes with each time it does that. But it's like the, the freaking mouth is literally just like steps, but they make it work. Nice. Oh, maybe I actually have to uh, hit this to get hearts. There we go. That's it. Oh, God. More blades, more blades, more blades. <gasps> Golly. He's a yo-yo master. Okay, that was only one time because he used a lot, but now it's just lightning central right here dude I have lightning central time no. <laughs> all right this gonna be kind of difficult to get it in one go because there's so many now boom and I think that's it yes I love this boss fight probably the coolest boss fight in this entire game <laughs> just a three simple a simple multi moon and it's yellow I think this is the only place where they're yellow yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the moons aren't really color coordinated with the worlds. This one should have been purple, and Luncheon Kingdom probably should have been like pink. Or no, I guess the blue kind of works. Oh, wait, it's Seaside Kingdom, that's purple, yeah. That one probably could have been yellow, perhaps. <laughs> yellow! Yellow! You won't know that joke unless you've watched Boy Meets World, Season 2, Episode Whatever. Yes! And just like that, we're out. <laughs> pretty much it's, it's very quick even when you like do extra stuff there's not that much to do here anyway so oh my god I just realized because you know you made an Elden Ring joke and Elden Ring has dragons <laughs> I just for some reason didn't make that connection until just now all right we Audi boys this is probably the quickest kingdom all right Bowser's kingdom this place is really cool. I think this is also a kingdom that when I get to, I'm kind of like, ah, uh, kind of like the wooded kingdom. It is a really good kingdom, but I don't know. I'm just not like huge on like samurai stuff, honestly. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite like samurai thing is probably Ghost of uh, Tsushima or Tsushima, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know. Oh, and they got little uh, straw hats or whatever those are. I know they're hats, but I don't know, like, what type. Um, but yeah, Ghost of Tsushima 
I have the PS5 version. I played a little bit of it, but I haven't played it all the way through. I played the, the PS4 one, obviously. Oh yeah, we got little pokies. I think these are literally called pokies. These can be kind of annoying to control. Go flick yourself. Part two. <laughs> Sounds like an old freaking 2008 movie title. You got go flick yourself and go flick yourself part two. <laughs> oh god. I think this is also like there's not a lot of moons to get in this one as well, so that's pretty great. Um, but I you can get a samurai outfit. I kind of wish that you could get a sword, but like you know, you got to use Cappy through this whole kingdom. So yeah. Oh yeah, and it doesn't show like the grayed out thingamajig of like how many moons you need to get. It's not really grayed out, but you know. Where it has the lines. So, I don't... I guess because this is, is the end, it doesn't really matter if you get moons, I suppose. Oh, I forgot you can shake the controller when you do that. But, you know, it's, it's fun getting some moons. Uh, I want to go through Red Dead 2 again. I played a little bit of, of that recently as well, but... Uh, kind of stopped playing it as I do with games. I'm like, hey, I want to I wanna be playing this right now and then never finish it. Red Dead 2 is good. I kind of wish that they would do like a, uh, golly, my voice is getting tired. <laughs> Starting to crack like crazy. Uh, like a PS5 thing, you know what they do? It's like originally a PS4 game and they like make it like PS5, you know? That'd be great. Because I didn't realize that Red Dead is not 60 frames. So, yeah. If it was 60 frames, oh my god, it would look much better. I feel like... You know, you could have a game that's like, you know, 4K graphics, like Spider-Man 2, for instance, or Final Fantasy 7. But if you have it to where it's like you get really good graphics, but like low frame rate, like 30 frames. For some reason, to me, it actually looks worse than if you went with the lower graphical setting, but at 60 frames. For some reason, with it being 60 frames, makes the game look better than, you know, the the... The one that actually supposedly looks better. And uh, a lot of people play with that setting. Where it's like they have the choice between 30 frames and 60. And they choose 30 frames because of the quote unquote better graphics. When there's really not much better graphics. I'm like, why would you, <laughs> why would you play with lower frame rate? It technically actually looks better with high frame rate. I discovered that like years ago. Whenever I got my PS5, I was like, yo... It actually looks better when I have frames. <laughs> oh yeah, we can hit the bombs because we have pokey. We have pokey abilities. Man, Ghost of Tsushima is great. I haven't finished Red Dead 2, but it's great as well. Yes, Red Dead is phenom. Hey, there's another moon there. Oh wait, no, that's a coin. Oh, that pokey just got freaking bombed, dude. Golly. Oh, more coinage. Okay, there we go. I, I sometimes mess that up. No, don't flick. Don't flick. Okay. Well, now I gotta flick. Oh, I can release. And then... Huh. Okay, and then... Huh. Huh. I gotta get those coinages. Because oh, cause I need to get the uh, samurai outfit. There we go. Oh, there's the last coin. Who oh, don't fall to your death, Mario. Do I need to use Cappy? Nope. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, we're so good. Can I like get rid of that by doing that? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, the, the coins here are um What are they? Is it yen? I don't know. Moon time. Yeah, so the moon is just like open doors and stuff like that. Locked passageways, so yeah. Uh, yeah, the ending is sad in Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't want Ghost of Tsushima spoiled, you know, skip. Spoiler alert. But I think whenever I did it, I chose, I think, I chose to keep him alive. Because I was like, yeah, this guy is a douchebag, but like, the, the, the relationship between the two was so great. And it was already so sad. I was like, ah, but like, I don't, I don't think that, um... What's his name would like kill his uncle though. Just like leave him alive and stuff, you know? So I I believe I kept him alive. But it is cool that you kinda can like 
choose to like kill him or not. Yeah, I, I was just like, man, I, I can't kill this guy. <laughs> Cause like his uncle was like more, actually did he know his father? Maybe, but I think his uncle was like still more of a father to him than his own father was. <laughs> I couldn't kill him, yeah, <laughs> too sad. I might do a, a playthrough eventually where I, I kill him. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun to do on stream. I probably won't do everything and probably just do like the main story beats, but like that'd be a pretty fun one to do. Oh yeah, we got the um Tanuki Mario. Cause we can like Yeah, and then it turns into Tanuki Mario. Or whatever this is. I think this is Tanuki Mario. You can probably I think you get a moon for like putting it like over there or something, but yeah. Oh my god, we're like close. We gotta like do the brutal fight. Actually, we gotta do two brutal fights. We don't fight Bowser yet. We gotta do like sumo arena battle fight twice and then all the brutals together in a freaking robot thing. We got this guy and we got that girl. <laughs> oh, we fought her first, thank goodness. So yes, yeah, she has two ponytail bomb thingies now. Yeah, so that's why I actually wanna hit them so that the fire goes away like immediately. So it's not just on the battlefield. Okay, Cappy can't get rid of it, I don't think. Oh, God. Ah! Whew. Yeah. Whew. Okay, you going over here? Boom! There you go. Take that, bunny girl. Throw your bombs. <laughs> I'm just freaking rolling <laughs> in the battlefield. I'm a roly poly man. I'll be rolling and polling. All right. Big old bomb time. Boom! Oh, I thought they hit me, but no, I did not. So is she a three cycle? Okay. I was like, so are they gonna make it a one cycle to make it like faster during the end? But no. I think the uh, the green one might still be a two cycle, but I'm not sure. He might be the only two cycle unless they brought him up to three, but I don't remember. Okay, so that one hit me. Nice. So this this part is actually like kind of difficult when you only have three hearts so having six is like really good burp. that was a burp by the way <laughs> I hate the brutals they're I think I like them they're pretty cool they're not like oh what are they called the 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 guys from Mario World Bowser's like cousins I think the Koopalings, that's what they're called. Yeah, th those are those are much better than the Brutals, for sure. Oh yeah, he's got hats galore now, dude. I usually always get hit by him when he has all of those hats. Oh yeah, you can actually get hearts from him, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Because of all of these freaking hats, it's probably better to do that, isn't it? That way you can just like whack him out of the park. Alright, here he is. There you go. It's actually smart to, like, get out before he does that again, but, you know. Knock all those hats out of the way, and then boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Okay, so I think that was a two-cycle, right? <laughs> I think that was a good old two-cycle. Ooh, I hope whenever they make a new Mario game, they bring the Koopalings back. That would be cool. Showdown at Bowser's Castle. Oh god, here we go, guys. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Gotta make our way up. Oh yeah, now it's going crazy. We got some nice music going. The lanterns are going crazy. The flags are going crazy. Oh, I gotta jump over here. I think the water actually kills these things, so you need to be careful. Need to be careful. Go flick yourself. <laughs> oh god, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. <gasps> oh dang it. I think I need to bring this. Oh, I need to go this way. <gasps> oh god, bomb. <gasps> oh dang it, I hit way too soon. There we go. Ah, oh, god, Mario. You need to actually jump when I press the jump button, Mario. Uh, Super Mario Wonder was awesome. Yes, you should play that on stream. I should. That would, that would be a blast to go through. It'd be very quick to do as well. That game's pretty quick. That's what I like about, like, 
those types of Mario games is that they're like very quick to do. That's one thing I like about like uh, Super Nintendo games, like the Mario games, so that is that they're very quick to do. So you can get a series out like quickly, like a YouTube series. Oh God, I died. I totally forgot that I got the samurai outfit. I didn't even like make it a big deal. <laughs> I got the freaking samurai outfit, guys. Look at me. Oh, I throw my hat. I don't have a sword though. Nintendo was like, oh, that might be a little too much for a Mario game. Even though they got freaking saw blades. These enemies are pretty cool too. They're very simple, but like pretty interesting. All right, where's the things? Yeah, the thing that's what I was trying to do, I was trying to get the coin, which is why I died. But I was like, oh wait, I don't need to get the coins because I have the outfit now. <laughs> okay, now I gotta go up here. Ah, oh, God, it's like... The responsiveness is like very quick. Like as soon as you turn that control stick, Mario freaking turns around. It's like, oh God. So it's like you don't want to move the control stick when you're like moving with this thing. Well, the only time you want to move it is when you go down left or right. Don't press up when you're using this uh, capture. Huh. Huh. Oh, that's going to hurt me. Huh. Nice. That was epic, dude. This might be the quickest I've ever done. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Wow, that was actually quicker than I remember it was. Getting up here. Wait, do we actually fight Bowser? I thought... No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. I remember now. Because, like, you see Bowser and Peach, and like, oh my god, this is the end. But, like, you get up here, and then Bowser does Bowser stuff, as he always does. But this is so cool, especially with the freaking samurai outfit on. Man, he got everything. You see what all Bowser does for Peach? What has Mario done for her? Bowser Bowser goes to lengths for Peach. Why doesn't she just get a Bowser? <laughs> oh, that was so epic, man. You gotta have those action sequences, my guy. It's all the brutals combined, but in a weird robot thing that shoots like firework things at you. All right. Oh my god, it's the lady's face. Like, the big old brutal lady. Oh yeah, because we actually, like, legit, like, killed her. And they're seeking revenge for killing their mother. Oh god. Pokey! Nice. Let me get around. Wait, how do I do that? Oh, right, I gotta hit the bombs. That's right. I gotta hoot! Oh, I just murdered that freaking Pokey now! Uh. There we go, there's one leg. Oh, dang it. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Oh, God. So that's phase one. All right, let's get rid of this one. I don't know if you can get multiple in one go. I think you can only get one. Yeah, because it, like, shoots you away. <laughs> it's morphin' time. <laughs> oh, my God. It literally is. Man, watch out to get that metal back. Oh, God. It's coming towards me. Yeah, it's about to shoot the firework things in a bit here. Oh, two cycled you, boy. Yes, now let me go up here. The top one is actually the easiest one to do, because it's just like... What's up there? What happens if we shake? Oh, you just spin around. You make me... Wait. That's not how it goes. You spin me right round, me right round like a record, baby. It's got rainbow feet. When did it get star power? I just realized this game doesn't have star power. Oh, I immediately got hit. Where's the freaking heart? Oh my god. That was crazy. Ah, here we go. Wait, does that hit the feet? I thought it... Oh. I think that's just for us, isn't it? Ah! 
Bruh. Oh god. Oh, I still have two more to get, and I don't have hearts. Oh, come on, Mario. Oh. There we go. Get Goofy. <laughs> Defeat Goof. Maybe you can get up there quickly. I don't know. I've never, like, tried. And I think that's all the rocks, too. Oh, God. There's more of these. I don't think these give you hearts, either. So that's... That's great. Oh. Just destroy your own firework thingies. All right. Last one. Last brutal. Last brutal. Oh, okay. Where's it at? Where's it falling down from? Okay. Oh, God. I have to do it this way. Yeah. All right, there we go. I think that's it. Yes, got it. Last one. Yeah. That was not too bad. I I think I usually die at least once in that boss fight. It's it's Mario Kart. <laughs> it's Mario Kart 64. <laughs> Oh, dude, could you imagine if, like, in a new Mario game, they, like, had, like, a Mario Kart kind of, like, Rainbow Road kind of thing? And you'd be, like, on a train, like, traveling through space and stuff? That'd be cool. Woo! Yes. The Brutals have been defeated. All right. It flew to the moon. Yeah, you slowly get closer to the moon as you complete uh, kingdoms in this game, which is really cool. All right, the last section of the 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 the, the Odyssey it's now complete 136 heck yeah the brutals have been brooded <laughs> yeah and it goes golden nice I kind of wish it went like rainbow instead of golden but it's whatever and this is the end, guys. We're here. And there's not a whole lot I got to do here, I don't think. Oh, wait. There's this one part. It's actually kind of annoying. It's not just straightforward. But yeah, the Moon Kingdom, guys. Epicness. Look at Cappy. I'm just chilling, buddy. Give me that sick outfit. Yeah. And that song from uh, Corpse Bride plays when they're getting ready for their... Uh, when they're getting ready for the wedding. Bowser's Moon Wedding. There's more of those spiky things that are spinning around. LOL, young man, learn your vows. <laughs> yeah. Long, young man, learn your <laughs> vows. That was severely butchered. Oh my god. <laughs> this boy does not wish to be married. Oh my god. Oh yeah. The, the coins are like star bits. <laughs> I forgot about that. Nice little galaxy um, reference there. Which I'm going to get these because, uh, oh yeah, you get like an astronaut outfit here. But I'm probably, I might wear it for a little bit. But like, I don't know. I like wearing the, the wedding outfit for this place. You can actually get Bowser's outfit as well. So that's pretty funny. Uh, I think there's some part where you can get a flower and then you can like jump really far. Especially with the... Uh, the moon jump, basically. Yeah, the, yeah, that's basically the guy from Seaside Kingdom. But not as cool. There we go. Oh, there's coinage over there. Wait. Oh, no. I think you just have to, like, jump over there, right? I was like, are there platforms that appear like a Mario Galaxy? But no. I don't think so. Ha <laughs> ha. I jumped over you, boy. Yeah, there it is. But I'm actually... Oh, no. I have to do this. Okay. This part is really cool. I like to long jump for extra distance, which I don't think I'll actually long jumped. Nice. Oh my god, it's Toad. It's your boy, Toad. Back at it again with another Super Mario Odyssey video for you guys. It's been a bit since I've streamed, but I'm back. Back at it again with, with your boy. Jiggy Jack plays. Can I get like a couple more coins? There might be some in here. But yeah, this part. 
This part is cool, but it's like, uh It can be difficult. Oh, wait, we're actually about to get, like, uh, Charging Chuck. I think it's actually Charging Chuck, right? Or is it, like, a Charging Chuck-like enemy? Alright. Oh, yeah! Dry Bones! What's up, Dry Bones? Oh, God. Can I still capture it? Oh, yes. I can fly! Oh, God. No! no. <laughs> I freaking died immediately. Oh, my God, bro. Just go around. Oh my god, we got tanks. Yeah, all the enemies have freaking uh, <laughs> uh, wedding hats. So that's pretty funny. I think I actually need this guy, don't I? <gasps> hey, now. Hey, now. You're a rock star. Get your cap on. Go play. Yeah, stand directly on top of the lava that was about to shoot up. Alright, I think I need to destroy that. There we go. And then get your boy up here. Don't hit that. Yeah. Yeah, so they basically use like all of the transformations, I think, or a good bit of them, that is. Hey, we got some hammer bros. And you basically have to use like every single one of them. You probably could skip those right there. You may not even need the hammer bros, but like, yeah. But it is, it's just easier to like use the hammer bro. You know, if you're not a speedrunner, that is. Uh. Oh god, I gotta be careful, because these guys are bouncy, bro. Oh my god, they're bouncy bobs. <laughs> god, that game is so funny. Me and Rizzo played that years ago, and he freaking hit his foot on his table. <laughs> so funny. Way to end the episode, too, man. Look at the Wiggler Boys. So yeah, same thing with the Wiggler guys, you could probably just like, you know, use the, the cap jump thing over there. You may not even need the Wiggler, but you know. Aha! Coinage, yes. But I do like that you have to basically use almost every transformation. And you get a new one. And look at this, guys. Big bullet bill. Oh my god, we never had a big one. <laughs> it plays the, uh... Is that the bullet bill theme? Or is that star power? I don't know, but yeah. We, we wasn't using the big boys, we was using the small boys before, but now we have big bullet bills. Oh, I see the path. We gotta hurry, too. He even used the shades guy. This guy is pretty shady. <laughs> We even use the, the ball of lightning and stuff. <laughs> there he is. There's your boy, Charger Chuck. Oh, we actually have to, like, hold it. We have to charge up. It's Charging Chuck, right? And we can just burst through all of these freaking uh, rocks. Uh, oh, do we just, like, let him go there? Oh, right. Yeah, then we go this way. Gotta avoid them. The Rocky Meatballs. And I think when you're charging... Oh, it's like hold Y to charge up and then Y to release. So I wonder if you press Y again, does that just like get rid of it completely? Or I only have to move up on the control stick. I thought I always thought you had to, but you don't. Yes! Oh, I freaking destroyed him. Yeah, dude. Epicness! Wait a minute. Oh, we do have to fight her again. Oh, and Change Up has two hats. No, three hats. Where you been? I just noticed. Her titties jiggle. Her booty probably jiggles too. Nintendo, this is a bunny. She don't have to jiggle. <laughs> oh god, imagine all the things people have made because of her jiggliness. I don't want to think about it, man. I'm not into that. Get rid of your hats. Get over here, boy. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, yes. Come on, get me. Boom. It's going to be a three cycle. <laughs> Can you even hit that? Oh, it gets five hats afterwards. Oh, my God. 
One, two, three, get the heck out. Get the heck out and dodge or whatever it says. And then, there we go. Ah, oh, well, that hope is gone, but that's fine. Oh, she's getting close. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Now she's finally gone. <laughs> it looks like the chainsaw has ears whenever it hits her in the face. Oh my god, she down, bruh. She down. <laughs> Mario sounded happy about that. He's like, finally, actually, I want to, I want to get a bit more coins. Why not? Get the coinage. Oh, we got to end it off right there. Heck yeah, dude. I wish I had another six right there. But either way, nice. <laughs> oh my god, we back at zero gravity. So we can literally just ground pound up here. Good old ground pound jump. I think that's a new move that they introduced in Odyssey as well. Could be wrong. Oh my god, we're here, guys. We are here. And look, there's the freaking earth, too. My goodness. It's so bright here, too. Seems so dark and lonely up here as well. I like it. <laughs> the ending of this game is so freaking good. It's phenomenal. I... I still love the ending to this game to this day. And getting up to the boss fight is so cool too. Going up to the uh, church. Oh, this long hallway and everything. The wedding hall. And then Mario just barges in. Oh, I have saved the day, Peach. And he's got everybody here. He's got all the food. That ring is too big, man. <laughs> They're like, help us, Mario. <laughs> I like Bowser's hand. He's just, woo, woo. He's like, you ain't getting Peach. She's my wife. Oh my god, save me, Cappy. He's not strong enough. Dang, if only he was like Link and had a hook shot. Oh yeah, we got Mario 64 Battle Arena, boy. And then the ring gets smaller and she's like stuck in it. Wouldn't she be technically married? <laughs> oh my god, Mario's a wedding crasher. Mario. Uh, Mario. Did you not learn anything from Wedding Crashers? <laughs> I think he did it on purpose, honestly. <laughs> he wanted to see Pauline again. Here's your happily ever after. Boom, no Bowser. Here's your happily ever after. I wish I had Bowser's sick hair, dude. His sick slicked back hair. Wait, oh yeah, slicked back hair. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you're gonna freaking block and then you're gonna jump. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack you in your nuts. You'll definitely not be able to have kids. Oh god, what is this? Oh right, he does that. Oh, you can literally just like jump it. But yeah, I forgot he has a new move. I just realized I only have three hearts for this. Okay, well let's see how I do then. Yeah, buddy. I got your hat again. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? Okay, yeah, there we go. Now he's... Okay, so he's starting to throw the metal balls, but you can't attack them because they deal damage to you. Okay. Oh, he still gets huge, and then he does a two with that one. I think the last one is a three. I think it's a three. It might be more than a three. Oh, God, now I have to do this part. Oh, this might be death, guys. Epic music, too, by the way. It can be intense, guys. Give me a heart. Give me a heart. I don't want to be heartless anymore. Where's Sora? Sora, give me my heart back. It's like, I don't think he can give you hearts. He can teleport through your heart, but he can't give you a heart. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Bowser. That's one, two, three. Yep, three. Okay. 
three cycle. Oh, it does it again, so that's technically a four. Oh no, frick you, Bowser. Bruh. Dang, oh god, I gotta. Oh, I gotta dodge these now. Ah. Oh, that almost hit me. That was. Uh... So is it a three cycle again, or does it just count as the other one? Still a three cycle. Okay. Ah. Yes! Yes! Take that, Bowser. Oh, I freaking ripped his clothes off, dude. <laughs> Yay! Oh god, the ring explodes. Why did it explode? Classic Peach floating down. Where's my kiss, Peach? Give me a kiss. Oh god. It's those cubes. The GameCube! Oh god, they're taking over the, the world! This is so cool. First time I played this game, I did not know the ending. And I was really surprised about this ending. <laughs> Poor Bowser. Yeah, this is... This is like... The one game where I actually felt bad for Bowser, especially near the end, but Bowser's freaking epic in this one. Cause watch guys, watch this. You can play as Bowser. And it's interesting too, because like, I feel like by Mario going in here, he kind of learns Bowser a bit more. Cause like you see, it shows all of the adventures he's had with Bowser. You see, look at that. And Peach, all that stuff. I just feel like he like understands Bowser after doing that. I don't know, that's probably not in the lore, but that's what it like makes me th uh, think of. Yeah, look at Mario Bowser. Like, look at this. And Mario gets to see what it feels like to be Bowser too with all of the strength. Oh, they give you three more hearts. But look at this. It looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, Peach is just like hanging out on her shoulders. All right, so you attack with Y, but you can shoot uh, by shaking it. Oh, that's stronger than the, the other attack. I usually just um, do that attack. Oh, and these platforms fall when you step on them, like classic Mario. And it's got that epic Pauline music in the back. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The first time I played this game... I almost cry <laughs> because of the music in the back and how epic this part is. I was like, this is the freaking best Mario game ever, guys. <laughs> well, I didn't say guys because yeah, I wasn't recording it, but yeah. Oh, actually, it's probably better to attack that way. Yeah, there we go. You can destroy blocks and stuff to continue on. Oh, yeah, then we go to classic, classic Mario, but we play as Bowser this time. That's <laughs> huge Bowser goes in a tiny pipe. Oh, but the platform slowly breaks as you go. I forgot about that. So you kind of had to be quick with it. But yeah, look. I'm I'm controlling Bowser. I am Bowser. I know how it feels to be Bowser in classic Mario. In 8-bit Mario. NES Bowser time, brother. I also forgot that he can bonk them with his head. Which actually kind of looks like Peach is doing that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and Peach looks like uh, how Peach used to look as well. Nice. Maybe that is quicker. To just attack like that instead of using the fireball. Oh, yeah, then this one you gotta really attack, but there's also balls that fall down on you. Boom! Alright, one more go, guys. We gotta break that GameCube. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to break that GameCube. No. <laughs> we just gotta destroy these pillars. Or destroy the rock that's around the pillar so that it breaks the cube right there. Deal some damage to it. But yeah, once it got to this part, like... It's so good. I got so emotional. I didn't cry, but like, I was close to crying. It's such a good ending though, man. Yeah, buddy. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I thought the uh, pillar 
dealt damage to you, which it might? Maybe I just dodged it epically. Alright, we've made it. Oh god, this was a mistake. Oh, they all start breaking now. Okay. I was like, oh no, what have I done? There we go. Okay, dodge that. <laughs> Almost there. Yes! We got it! And now... Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that! That's so cool! Kind of looks like Bowser from Bowser's Fury. And then power it up. Boom! Heck yeah! Back to Earth, guys. <laughs> Ah, and then Mario just immediately comes back out of Bowser. <laughs> Man, that's such a good ending, though. This was epic, yes. I'm actually glad that I uh, completed this game today. He's like, where's my kiss, Peach? I've been waiting. Oh, yeah, they reunite. Reunite. Yeah, that's the word. Yay. Nice. <laughs> this part's so funny. I love this part. <laughs> and Bowser's like, no! Here, have my piranha plant bouquet! <laughs> He's like, oh no! <laughs> Here, have this flower that makes me go super fast and turns me into Jesus when I'm on water. <laughs> this part's so funny. She's had enough of their bull crap, man. She's like, I'm going to go travel. <laughs> Mara's like, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, and then Mara freaking books it. Boom! <laughs> Freaking kicks Bowser in the face. Nice. But yeah, I kind of felt for uh, felt bad for Bowser right there because Bowser just kicks him in the face, and Bowser's just on the moon now. Nice, and it just shows all the pictures throughout the the game and stuff. Man, I don't know if I've actually looked through the credits of this game, field art and all that stuff. Dang. But yeah, man, this game to this day is still is really freaking epic and really good. And uh, it's a pretty quick uh, game to go through. And uh, I didn't even do everything in the game. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't do. So like, imagine the stuff that's, you know, there that I didn't do. So this game is actually pretty long, especially if you are trying to 100% it because there are, I think, 999 power moons. And um, some kingdoms have like 50 coins, some have like 100. Uh, there's so many outfits to get, and uh, I am probably not going to do the dark side of the moon or the darker side of the moon. But, so there's like two more kingdoms, I think, after that. Maybe three more, but yeah. Great game. Heck yeah, man. This is a great game. Has it said... Shigeru Miyamoto? Did I skip over that or has he not said his name yet i don't even know like what his role was with this game might have just been producer i don't know but yeah dude it shows mario going through all the kingdoms and stuff <laughs> freaking bird man dude i have <laughs> i have a lot to edit now <laughs> because i haven't finished the first stream yet i'm getting close i gotta edit like the lost kingdom and Metro Kingdom, I think. And then, you know, this stream I got to do uh, Snow Kingdom, Lunch of Kingdom, Bowser's Kingdom, and the final part, and uh, Rune Kingdom and all that stuff. So, yeah, so that's going to gonna take a bit. I might <laughs> take a, a short break from streaming. I kind of already did because it's been like almost, I think the last time I streamed was the 10th, right? So it's been almost a week. So, I don't know, because you know this is finished, you know, I can just go through the videos and get them out as quickly as possible and, and all that stuff so might take a short break from stream just to get the Mario Odyssey videos out and then coming back probably with some Resident Evil 4 so I'm actually going to restart that I know I streamed it like a uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago but 
probably going to redo it and actually record while I'm streaming because I wasn't doing that before. Because I figured out that when you download the videos that was uploaded onto YouTube, they actually... The, the, the quality is garbage compared to the uh, recording that you had previously. So, like, you know, I'm going to actually stream and record Resident Evil 4 at the same time as well. So, yeah. And uh, I did not look for Shigeru Mimoto, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot about this part. Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs> I love that. Mario actually learned how to talk. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game. Ah, oh, the Mushroom Kingdom. I love the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, there's a good bit of moons that you can do in here as well. So calm, so peaceful. Like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But it wasn't because the freaking ship is still here. But good thing it wasn't. Aw, oh, you almost pulled a Zelda on us, dude. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's Castle. Yeah, he's basically saying, hey, aren't you 100% this game? <laughs> oh my god, it's Luigi. Uh, we about to take a trip soon. And, um, you know, I'm about to get caught in a painting. And um, you're going to have to save me again for the third time. <laughs> That's kind of a segue into, um, you know, I'm going to be doing Luigi's Mansion 3 soon as well. <laughs> so, yes, that's going to be fun, too. That one might be a pretty quick series to go through as well. All right. I might I might try to do like a... Um... <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that's hilarious. I'll probably do like... Uh... Uh, a floor an episode I think there's like 13 floors or 14 floors technically so it'll be like a 13 or 14 point series so yeah riding on a scooter rolling out of hooters <laughs> nice oh yeah we got like these star coins yeah so I'm not gonna do like everything in the mushroom kingdom I'm probably just gonna get the Mario 64 outfit go into the castle and uh, meet a friend and then this will be the series guys I think it's up here where you can play music, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't even show that off. If you hit the radio, it'll play, like, Bowser's s song from Mario 64, I think. Or maybe it's just, like, a song that sounds like that. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. We got, like, the, the classic Mario mushrooms right here, dude. Okay. I don't remember how many coins it takes to get the Mario outfit. Oh, yeah. We got, um, Dory. I think that's Dory. Is that the freaking thing from Mario 64? I don't think it is, but it kind of looks like it. Oh my god. Oh, it's it's Koopa the Quick. No. <laughs> yeah, there's like little towers that you can go into, and I think they're like... Uh, like where you fight the Brutals. Oh yeah, there we go. Kind of like a, a Brutal Gauntlet, but not really because it's just in individual like towers and stuff, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, we also got the trees from Mario 64, but they're like actual trees and not like PNGs. PNGs... Yeah, that's the pronunciation. Yo, this is cool. A little tunnel here to get some coinage. Rats? Hello. <gasps> Ooh, apples. Goombas. Ooh, I wonder why there's apples here. Alright, let's go and see if I can get the Mario outfit. Now, this makes me think of Banjo-Kazooie. Where you get the jiggies. Wow, I've gotten a lot of coins here. I'm going to make sense because this is... A really small kingdom, so it makes sense why you'd be able to get like a whole bunch of coins very quickly. I got 40 already, dang. And there's 100 here, so this is a pretty quick uh, place to get all of the coins, so yeah. Oh yeah, we got the little hedges over here where the bunny is, but Toad's here. Oh no, there is a bunny! I think he actually gives you a star when you catch him, right? <laughs> he jumps over Toad. This is easier because you could just like go right here and whack him. Oh dang it. I say it's easier to get the bunny, but like, my goodness. Oh, I got him. There we go. Heck yeah. First star. Yeah, dude. I love that so much. Good old Mario 64, man. Yes. What's up there, Toad? Oh, you need a lot for this. Okay. I'm glad I actually got a whole bunch. Ooh, I have five more after that. <laughs> or after this one, rather. <laughs> Mario 64 Nice Peach's castle main entrance Oh I guess I need to talk to Toad He's like Mario The prince has disappeared again Is he going to play the Bowser song 
That'd be funny. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. It looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> my voice keeps cracking. Oh, my God. It's Toadette. Mario. So, basically, uh, Peach is exploring all the kingdoms and stuff. She wants a little vacay. She wants to go explore. And if you go back through this game to, like do extra stuff you'll actually see her in each kingdom and she has like a different outfit for each kingdom and stuff and you can talk to her and the uh, tiara nice like remake of the castle nice like re remake of the song too i suppose i got the carpet here there's actually like a lot of toads in here as well but all of the doors are gone oh yeah you can't go like first person so you can't really like look up i don't even know if that really does anything in this one yeah, this is where the first level would be, like right here. It's bob bomb battlefields, and I think it's like right here would be the first star door. Or no, that's like right here. I think we're close to that. But yeah, and there'd be doors there that lead to the basement, or technically like right here by the stairs and stuff. Try to outrun that boo that you cannot outrun, or maybe you can, but like it doesn't do anything. LOL, thank you so much for to playing my game. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. And down there is where you drain the water. I don't think you can actually... Wait, maybe you can because there's a... There's some logs there. So maybe you can drain the water. Dang. Alright, let's go meet an old friend to end off the series. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's some platforms that show up. It's literally right here. There we go. But you gotta be quick with it. Yeah, oh yeah! See him without his hat on? I think his hair is actually more red in the in Mario 64. But yeah. Alright guys, time for the big reveal! <gasps> Yoshi! <laughs> I love the sound of Yoshi in this one. He's <laughs> got a mustache. He's got Mario's hat. Oh, it's Yoshi! Don't you look so good? Alright, and as you can imagine, gotta eat them apples. Let's eat all of the apples, guys. I think you get a star for doing that. Yes! Star! Yeah, buddy. I think you can get multiple stars for eating, like, all the fruit and stuff. But yeah, dude, there we go. That's, that is Super Mario Odyssey. One of the great greatest mario games it's super good well there's like a desert over there dang um i freaking love this game it is such a good game oh there's some mountains and some water right there nice ocean dang <gasps> is that that one place i forget dire dire docks <laughs> dang could you imagine if like you go through this game and like after you beat it like there's a nice surprise and it's just a Mario 64 remake? Dang, that would've been crazy. Alright, Toad. I gotta leave you now, buddy. It was nice seeing you again. Nice reunion. <laughs> oh, Toad. I mean, Yoshi. Don't be doing that. No. <laughs> he dancing. Nice. Put in a few moons. Oh, those are like gold. And we end off the series with 139 moons. Dang, I wish I would have got one more. So it would have been 140. <laughs> but it's whatever. But yeah, guys. Alright. Let's go into the Odyssey. Uh, too bad he doesn't give you 99 lives. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he did that. Alright, guys. Well, thank you all, all so much for watching this series. Uh, it's been a blast to go through this game again. It's been a bit... I found fun chatting with all of you, and um, this series has caught me by surprise on YouTube by it doing pretty darn well for me anyways, and um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm probably going to take a little break to just get this series like finished before I get back into streaming, um, unless I decide to stream anyways, but like I don't want to overload myself with editing, um, and I'm probably going to start... I know I, I say, like, I'm probably going to do this, and then I don't do it, but, like, I kind of want to do Resident Evil 4 and Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't know which I'm going to do first, but those are kind of, like, on the list right now. So, yeah. 
that's the way to end off, and Mario's gonna take a nap till the next Mario game comes out for the next Nintendo system. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for going on this epic adventure with me and Mario and Cappy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff, and go check out Gamer Meets Mario 64 video. <laughs> I was gonna say that earlier, because you know, it's all Mario 64 themed, but like, you know. <laughs> but yeah.